Hello everyone, it's me Lucy again. Today, I'll be reviewing an extremely hilarious and shameless comedy stories. Now, let's dive into the content, under the tall and rugged mountains, the scene below the mountain is desolate, with smoke and dust. Faintly crowded people are watching the shadow of a young man walking. He turned around, his eyes filled with sorrow. This young man's name is Yi Sheng. He shed tears of regret as he spoke to them, aunts, village leader, uncles, I really can't bear to leave you all, an old man with a cane, who seems to be the village leader, took a few steps forward and looked at him with regret and sighed, Yi Sheng, we also can't bear to leave you. But your father brought you to the Valley of the Wicked back then. When he left, he instructed us to let you venture out on your own when you turn fifteen, the aunt beside him continued, that's right, Yi Sheng, now you are a grown man. I believe you can excel outside. Yi Sheng scratched his head and smiled, all right then, this time I will go to the Evergreen Immortal Sect to seek enlightenment. After joining the Immortal Sect, I will come back to visit everyone regularly. As soon as he finished speaking, the whole village was startled by the chirping of birds, wide-eyed and shaking, waving their hands continuously. Ant struggled to say, Yi Sheng, if there is nothing wrong, don't leave. Others shouted loudly, cultivation is the most important, don't leave the immortal sect, yes, we will take good care of ourselves, you don't need to worry about us, Yi Sheng reluctantly turned and waved, saying, all right then, I will go, goodbye uncles, grandfathers, aunt. The crowd fell silent as they watched him walk away. Seeing him getting further away, a young man excitedly squeezed his fists and exclaimed, has he really left? Tell me this is not a dream. Another middle-aged man with tears in his eyes whispered, it's great, Yi Sheng has finally left, thank heaven, I hope the moon is also gone, celebrate with dumplings tonight, suddenly, Yi Sheng stopped and turned around, leaving them all stunned. The aunt, still trembling, asked him, Yi Sheng, do you have something else to say? Yi Sheng smiled brightly and turned back to respond. I forgot, he said, do not dismantle our makeshift house. I heard that the Evergreen Immortal Sect is very strict in their selection process, I'm afraid I won't pass the test. When that time comes, I will come back. Everyone was panicked, some even gritted their teeth and held their heads, lamenting, what, are you still coming back? The old village leader, with a stern face, sighed and spoke, all right, Yi Sheng, thirty years ago, the hundred wicked of the Valley of the Wicked risked their lives to save an injured immortal from the Evergreen Immortal Sect. Before leaving, the immortal bestowed upon the Valley of the Wicked this Evergreen command, saying that in the future, they could use this token to vouch for him. The village leader approached and placed the token in Yi Sheng's hand, instructing, take this token, you will surely be able to enter the Evergreen Immortal Sect. Go quickly, remember to cultivate diligently and not worry about worldly affairs. Your parents' whereabouts are still waiting for you to find them, so once you go, try not to come back. Yi Sheng accepted the token and tucked it away, smiling, yes, everyone has been so kind to me. This time, I will truly depart, I will miss all of you. When he was sure he had gone far, the aunt beside him asked worriedly. The village leader, why did you give the evergreen command to Yi Sheng, this is a magic weapon to suppress the enemies of the Valley of the Wicked for many years, if someone else finds out, the enemies of the world will come for revenge, the village leader was also helpless, he replied, can't give it. What if he can't pass the real selection and comes back, what should we do, everyone was horrified and remained silent, a blindfolded man standing aside also spoke sadly, at least compared to the external enemies, Yi Sheng is more terrifying he doesn't know where to get his energy from, he comes to steal chickens from our houses every midnight, we can't stop him, for many years he has been torturing me to death. Another man wearing a hat covering his face agreed, yes, Yen Wang is the most difficult to deal with, since he learned our techniques, I have never had a coin in my pocket, another white-haired man gritted his teeth in anger, he even took my Chun Gong picture to rent it out and make money, in the end, I was cursed by people in the village all day, while he made money, is this fair? Ant looked at them and said, well, wicked attracts wicked, each of us was a great wicked back then, why did we have to encounter Yi Sheng, 
making everyone be careful, acting like rabbits, seeing Yi Sheng is terrifying. Village leader looked at everyone and raised his hands high, shouting, Forget it, Yi Sheng is gone, today we celebrate, drink and be merry, celebrate without getting drunk. The villagers immediately agreed excitedly. Hearing the fireworks booming in the sky, Yi Sheng turned around, standing on the mountain peak, seeing the fireworks and bright lights below, murmured, Uncles, elders must not bear to let me go, missing me so they use fireworks and drumming to ease the longing for me. Yi Xing crossed his arms, smirking, thinking to himself, I am indeed a lovable person. Three days later, on a high mountain peak, was a sect. In front of the evergreen immortal sect, many young men were gathered, one of them stood up and loudly said, I am not necessarily the smartest. We're not sure we're the most handsome, not sure we're the most outstanding, not sure we're the funniest, not sure we're the strongest, not sure we can enter the evergreen immortal sect, not sure we can achieve this status. Another young man below expressed his appreciation, Senior brother, you are too modest, thank you for lowering yourself to boost my confidence, thank you for your encouragement. The person in front then arrogantly declared, Remember my name, I am Wei Bai Hui, this alchemy room can only belong to me, I am closing it off to all of you. The crowd below started to curse and complain, Damn it, made me wait here for half an hour, just for this. Yi Sheng, standing afar. Feeling disheartened at the scene, thought to himself, the evergreen immortal sect is indeed crowded, Wei Bai Hui's arrogance is almost matching mine, the pressure is not small. He then patted the sturdy man in front and asked, Uncle, who is the senior brother on the stage? How can he be so confident to enter the evergreen immortal sect? Uncle Li said Wei Bai Hui is said to be related to a prominent figure of Black Cloud Peak in Evergreen Immortal Sect, has obtained the unique title in Evergreen Immortal Sect as a miscellaneous disciple of the Alchemy Room, this trip is considered futile. Yi Xing asked in confusion miscellaneous disciple. Being related to a prominent figure and becoming a miscellaneous disciple upon entering the Immortal Sect. Shouldn't it be at least an outside sect disciple? Evergreen Immortal Sect has an old saying, better to be a dog of the alchemy room than a human of the outside sect, meaning being a miscellaneous disciple of the alchemy room will bring unimaginable benefits, everyone competes eagerly to join. Even worshipping deities and Buddhas to enter. He pointed towards the crowd and continued have you seen those people? They all heard that the alchemy room has a vacant title so they have come from far away, including many accomplished practitioners, if it were a normal selection of outside sect disciples, there wouldn't be so many people here, what's the point of saying these things? If the title has been taken away by Wei Bai Hui, then we are useless staying here, so let's go. Uncle looked at Yi Sheng and reminded, little guy, you should also go back early, or you won't make it to the inn at the foot of the mountain before dark. Yi Sheng pursed his lips discontentedly and did not reply, after a while, in front of the evergreen immortal sex gate, the crowd that was bustling earlier had now all left, leaving only Yi Sheng and Wei Bai Hui. He folded his arms and looked at Yi Sheng with a loud voice, Hey little guy, why are you staying here? Don't you know Wei Bai Hui has someone in the immortal sect? Yi Sheng held the evergreen command and pondered quietly. I wonder who has a bigger backing behind Wei Bai Hui, Evergreen Command, or the person standing behind him, suddenly, from above, two disciples of the sect rode on their swords and asked, Who is Wei Bai Hui? Wei Bai Hui quickly answered, It's me, my senior brother is Wei Bai Hui. Hearing this, the two disciples said, Let's go, come with us to the sky gate, senior brother Chang Ming has already processed the sect accession procedures for you. Wei Bai Hui's eyes lit up with joy and he exclaimed. Thank you, senior brother, he said, stepping onto the long sword and flying up with another person. He then turned around and taunted Yi Sheng, little guy, have your illusions shattered? Ha, huh, I told you not to be delusional and face reality. As he spoke, he raised his middle finger in front of Yi Sheng and continued, the evergreen immortal sect belongs to geniuses and those related to geniuses. It's no coincidence that I belong to the latter category. A little guy like you should just go down the mountain. Huh, Yi Sheng, feeling dejected, looked at the evergreen command and thought to himself, 
I hope the old village leader gave me a useful token. He then looked straight ahead and walked directly into the evergreen immortal sect. As soon as he entered, two people rushed over, their faces flushed with anger, and blocked his way, the tall man in blue shouted, who dares to intrude into the evergreen immortal sect, Yixing presented the evergreen command and said, Hello, senior brothers. Do you recognize this token? The two men were shocked, their eyes widening. They looked at each other in disbelief and exclaimed in unison, This is the evergreen command of Zhou Lin Lang, master peak of Qin Yun Peak. Seeing their reaction, Yixing bowed and clasped his hands together. I wonder if the two senior brothers can inform Zhou Master Peak about us. I am a former disciple of his, seeking refuge at Evergreen Immortal Sect. But Yi Sheng was secretly amused. How great, how great, I never expected the owner of the Evergreen Command to be a Master Peak, feeling more powerful than Wei by Huey's senior brother. The man in yellow hesitated and said, about this, the man in green scratched his head and spoke up, younger brother, there's no hiding it, Master Peak Zhou Lin Lang went insane twenty years ago. Yi Xing couldn't believe it, stammering, insane, insane. The man in yellow suggested, wait a moment, younger brother, then he drew his sword and shouted loudly, back in the day. Zhou Master Peak had a good relationship with Jiang Master Peak of Ziyun Peak, I will go and inform Jiang Master Peak. As the sky darkened, at Ziyun Peak, inside the main hall, a beautiful woman sat on a high platform, emitting a sparkling golden aura, she was the master peak of Ziyun Peak outside sect, Jiang Yu Ran. After hearing the report, she immediately spoke up, if he is a disciple of Zhou senior brother, then I can't not care, is there any vacant position in the outside sect now? The thin and tall disciple in a yellow robe respectfully replied, at Jiang Master Peak, the outside sect only accepts disciples once a year, it's still half a year until this year's assessment, but I heard that the alchemy room recently lacks a position, many commoners are competing for it, Jiang Yu Ran murmured. Alchemy room, huh? Then let this person become a disciple of the alchemy room, wait until the outside sect assessment, then let him into the outside sect after the yellow-robed disciple left. Jiang Yu Ran stood up, looking towards the mountain in contemplation and muttered, Zhou senior brother, rest assured, even though my brother is insane, your disciple will surely take good care of him in your place, for now, I will appoint him as a disciple of the alchemy room, half a year later I will definitely bring him to the outside sect master peak, outside evergreen immortal sect. At this moment Wei Bai Hui and another disciple were walking, the other person spoke. Chang Ming's senior brother is about to have a breakthrough this time, unable to come personally, deliberately asked me to bring Wei junior brother to the alchemy room to report. Wei Bai Hui replied it's okay, let Gij practice, unexpectedly Gij has such a high position in the evergreen immortal sect, entering through the back door is just a matter of a word. Of course, Chang Ming's senior brother is the top disciple of Black Cloud Peak, who wouldn't admire him, Honestly Wei junior brother being able to enter the alchemy room, I also greatly admire. The alchemy room has precious materials everywhere, it is said that just breathing in there can absorb the spiritual energy radiated by genius treasures. After Wei junior brother enters, don't forget that I am the one who brought you in to report. Wei Bai Hui sneered arrogantly, saying Gij is really powerful. As the two continued walking, they heard him say that there were hundreds of people outside reporting to him, hearing that the top disciple of Black Cloud Peak is related to him is almost enough to drive them away, leaving only a little guy who doesn't know the height of the heavens and the depth of the earth, do you find it funny? Just then Yi Sheng and a person in a yellow robe landed in front of the alchemy room door. He looked around dreamily and said, is this the alchemy room, Wei Bai Hui stepped up the stairs and saw Yi Sheng, pointing at him in astonishment and said, is this the little guy who doesn't know his place, so stubborn? Are you not afraid now to come to the alchemy room at all? Isn't that amusing, the man in the yellow robe heard him and turned around, then immediately shouted inside, under the command of Jiang Master Peak Zi Yun Peak, specially bringing Yi Xing here to register, henceforth will become a disciple of the alchemy room, Wei Bai Hui and the other disciple couldn't believe it, they looked at each other and exclaimed, what? He frowned angrily and shouted. Senior brother, are you mistaken? 
The only disciple of the alchemy room is supposed to be me, Wei Bai Hui, how can it be this little guy? The man in the yellow robe tilted his head slightly and replied, if you think Jiang Master Peak Zi Yun Peak has made a mistake, then you can go and ask Jiang Master Peak. Then he turned to Yi Sheng and said, Yi Junior Brother, I forgot to introduce myself, I am a disciple of Zi Yun Peak Sheng Tian Xiao. After saying that, Zheng Tian Xiao climbed up the school's sword platform and waved goodbye, saying, You should practice diligently here, we will meet again in the future. With that, he immediately flew away. On the other side, Wei Bai Hui squeezed his fists tightly, angrily shouted, Impossible, this can't be happening, your name is Yi Sheng, right? What are you up to? Why did you end up in the alchemy room in the end? Yi Sheng smiled confidently and replied, Hee hee, Wei Bai Hui, didn't you say that Evergreen Immortal Sect is for geniuses and those related to geniuses? It's not a coincidence that you came later, so I must belong to the former, I can be a genius. After saying that, he waved his hand, walked through the gate, and laughed loudly, huh, Wei Bai Hui, losing his composure, pointed and yelled, you despicable person, Yi Sheng, you have taken the position of my disciple in the alchemy room, I will not let you get away with this. As he aggressively approached, another disciple held him back, saying, Wei Junior Brother, calm down, Evergreen Immortal Sect strictly prohibits disturbances. If that's the case, let's report to Senior Brother Chang Ming, then we can resolve this later. Yi Xing gleefully teased, stepping into the courtyard to observe for a while, waiting nervously, with no one around, only dust and falling leaves. Yi Xing felt strange and said, Isn't the alchemy room highly regarded in the eccentric institute? Why is there no one here? Just then, a loud bang came from inside the main hall, rocks and debris flying out, causing Yi Sheng's eyes to widen. At that moment, a stout figure was also forcefully thrown out through the hole, landing on the ground, his body torn and tattered. He held his head, groaning, saying, Oh, mother, this pain is killing me. This person was Ji De Quan, a disciple of the alchemy room. Others rushed out worriedly, calling out. Are you okay, De Quan brother? Ji De Quan, furious and resentful, said, Help me up, I refuse to believe I can't tame a torn cauldron. He raised his voice and exclaimed, I, Ji De Quan, am the head disciple of the Alchemy Room's cauldron patrol, yet I can't tame a torn cauldron for seven consecutive days. The crowd hurried to help him up, only to hear him continue to yell, not only that, but it has also knocked me away seven times. It is indeed extremely humiliating, truly humiliating. Thinking of this, he immediately strides away aggressively, his bulky body causing his fellow disciples to struggle to stop him. One of them blocks his path and says loudly, Senior Brother De Quan, do not go any further. It's a small matter if you die, but if the entire alchemy room explodes, then the sect will be in big trouble. This person is Huang Xiao Jian, a disciple of the alchemy room. Upon hearing this, Ji De Quan stands still and calmly says, Junior Brother Xiao Jian, you really know how to advise people. All right, I won't go any further. This cauldron is likely to explode, so let the new junior brother try his luck. He waves his hand, gives a signal, then turns and walks away, shouting, Senior brother, immediately. At this moment, everyone finally turns to notice Yi Xing standing beside them. Ji De Quan, astonished, asks, Hey, who are you? Yi Xing smiles and says, Hello, senior brothers, I am Yi Sheng, a new disciple who just arrived at the alchemy room. Upon hearing this, Ji De Quan pats his shoulder and laughs, saying, So you're the new junior brother. When did you arrive? Why didn't I see you? Yi Sheng laughed and replied, Just arrived, just arrived, thinking to himself, Oh my goodness, I've been standing here for half a day already, I've heard your conversation a few times over. Ji De Quan grabbed Yi Sheng's hand happily and pointed ahead excitedly, saying, Let's go. Junior brother's arrival is a joyful occasion, we'll prepare a feast for you. Yi Xing blushed, his eyes also sparkling, inside a room filled with food and fragrant wine, Ji De Quan and his disciples invited Yi Xing to sit down, saying, Don't be shy, Yi Xing junior brother, 
our alchemy room is abundant in spiritual herb pills, just eat. He placed a plump fish in front of Yi Sheng, urging him to eat. Huang Xiao Jian spoke up, senior brother, Yi junior brother has never practiced cultivation before, eating like this could harm his body and prevent the absorption of nutrients, causing a spiritual energy explosion. Ji De Quan quickly pushed his chair back and said, You're right, I was not considerate enough. Little junior brother, I will teach you a body refining technique. He then swiftly got up and left. After a while, Yi Sheng returned to another room, sitting cross legged with his eyes closed in concentration. Around him, a radiant spiritual weapon emanated, Ji De Quan stood beside him and said, Little junior brother, according to the cultivation method I just mentioned, breaking through to refine the body is not difficult. What I am imparting to you is that evergreen body severing technique, skill, the basic body severing skill of our evergreen immortal sect. Do not underestimate this basic skill, it is the masterstroke of our evergreen sect founder. It is said that back then, the evergreen immortal relied on this technique to dominate the martial world, becoming a renowned immortal. Yi Xing pondered with his eyes closed, strange, I have never practiced or come into contact with any cultivation skills, why does this evergreen refined body technique feel somewhat familiar? He recalled his time at the Valley of the Wicked, it's similar to hoeing the soil, Uncle Li often taught me these little techniques while teaching me to hoe the land, Ji De Quan continued, you must train diligently, normally speaking, by reaching the first level of body severing you will be able to comfortably consume these medicinal pills. Yi Xing pushed those thoughts aside and reassured himself, it doesn't matter. If I get used to it, then fine. Anyway, the evergreen body severing technique seems quite easy to learn. I'll just practice and see. Ji De Quan continued to speak, there's no need to rush. Talented disciples in the evergreen immortal sect usually break through within three days. Those with less talent might take a month. Just take your time and cultivate slowly, before he could finish, Yi Sheng's entire body was suddenly enveloped in bright spiritual light, signaling a successful breakthrough. Opening his eyes to the astonished expressions of Ji De Quan and the others, he said, Senior brother, I've finished cultivating. Pleased, he thought to himself, so, cultivation isn't as difficult as I thought. It's actually quite simple, the brothers present were amazed, their eyes wide open as they exclaimed, What? That fast? Ji De Quan moved closer to inspect Yi Sheng and shouted, Did you really break through to the refined body stage already? He patted Yi Sheng on the head, laughing heartily, Ah, little junior brother, you really do have impressive talent. Your cultivation speed is even faster than ours by a bit. Huang Xiao Jian then said, Not just a little faster, at first it took us the fastest one seven days to break through. How can little junior brother do it in just half an hour? The alchemy room is about to produce monsters. Ji De Quan, excited, said loudly, let's eat, and they returned to the table, raising their glasses and happily saying, congratulations to little junior brother for joining our alchemy room, at this moment, in front of a table of exquisite delicacies, Yi Sheng's eyes lit up admiringly, no wonder everyone is fighting to get into the alchemy room. It's so rich here, he picked up a bunch of leaves to contemplate, take this lime grass for example, I remember Uncle Wang forging iron at the Valley of the Wicked. It took him five years to get one, but here there's a whole basket, Ji De Quan turned to him as he put the lime grass in his mouth, concerned, little junior brother, don't just eat grass, make a chicken leg. Newcomers to the alchemy room have to eat continuously for three days and three nights, that's our rule, Ji De Quan handed him a chicken leg and continued speaking. For these three days, eat as much as you can, don't hold back. Otherwise, the storage room won't be able to hold it all. It's like clearing out the storage room for the alchemy room. Everyone cheered and shouted, eat up, have fun. Yi Sheng, holding a chicken leg in one hand and vegetables in the other, enjoyed his meal and thought to himself, wow, this is delicious. Good times are coming for Yi Sheng. After three days, Yi Sheng's spiritual energy surged dramatically. With a single punch, he could shatter a large tree. The surrounding brothers clapped and praised him, saying well done. 
Ji De Quan approached and said, Little junior brother, you truly have exceptional talent. In just three days, you've advanced from a mortal who had never cultivated before to the second level of the refined body stage. He held up three fingers and continued, In just these three days, you've covered the distance that ordinary cultivators would take three years to achieve. The people around also expressed their admiration, saying, With this speed, little junior brother could enter the main sect. But the outside sects all envy the freedom of the alchemy room, having food and drink at their leisure. Another person added, Exactly. Why bother entering the inner sect and the outer sect is so good? Yi Xing scratched his head awkwardly, laughing and saying that all of this was thanks to the senior brothers. In these three days, he didn't know how many spiritual fruits he had eaten, his spiritual energy had increased significantly, and with the refining techniques of the sect that his senior brother had passed on to him, he was able to break through to the second level of refining in just three days. He thought to himself that the cultivation in these past few days had been smooth and easy, just like eating and sleeping, without feeling like it was draining any energy. It all felt very familiar, like the games he used to play with his uncles and senior brothers in the Valley of the Wicked. Very strange indeed. Ji De Quan laughed and told him that he didn't need to be humble, that he was a genius. He also mentioned that despite eating so many spiritual fruits, Yi Sheng's body didn't seem to absorb them, which was unusual. Perhaps Yi Sheng's constitution was special, as only the core disciples of Evergreen Immortal Sect had such unique constitutions. Maybe in the future, little junior brother will even soar straight into the sky, someone remarked. Hearing this, Yi Sheng's enthusiasm soared. He boldly pounded his chest and declared, Senior brother, inside sect disciples, outside sect disciples, or even direct disciples, they're all nothing compared to the alchemy room disciples. We eat big, drink big, and enjoy big. In this lifetime, Yi Xing belongs to the alchemy room, and even in death, I'll be a spirit of the alchemy room. The other disciples were deeply moved by Yi Xing's words, their eyes glistening with tears. Ji De Quan patted Yi Xing on the shoulder and said, All right, Little junior brother, you have ambition and good judgment. From now on, the senior brothers in the alchemy room will take good care of you. You'll be treated as well as the inside sect or direct disciples. Ji De Quan and Yi Sheng then left, and Ji De Quan continued seriously Senior brother will take you to a place. In the alchemy room, the first thing a new disciple must do is patrol the cauldrons. Yi Sheng, curious, asked, patrol the cauldrons? Ji De Quan replied, yes, only after successfully patrolling the cauldrons can you become a true disciple of the alchemy room. In front of them were numerous cauldrons blazing with fire. Ji De Quan looked at Yi Sheng and cheered, go ahead, choose your cauldron, with your talent, you can definitely do it. They moved closer, and Ji De Quan pointed and said, this is the Tiger Ear Thousand Gene Cauldron, a royal grade 4 treasure cauldron in our alchemy room, considered an extraordinary treasure. Huang Xiao Jian followed and explained, Little junior brother, the most important thing in choosing a cauldron is to find one that suits you. The most superior method of patrolling a cauldron is the legendary spiritual sense, followed by intuition, temperament, and affinity. Our disciples in the alchemy room mainly choose cauldrons based on affinity, so that they can quickly patrol the cauldron successfully. Just rely on your instinct, little junior brother, and choose the cauldron that resonates with you, Yi Xing put his hand on his chin, looked around, and said dejectedly, this won't do, let's see another one. Ji De Quan continued to point to a different direction and introduced another cauldron, named Yao Hua Glazed Ding, a royal grade 3 treasure cauldron. Though its grade is not as high, it is the most ancient treasure cauldron in the alchemy room, often used to refine elixirs. The entire cauldron has been infused with the essence of herbs, making it easier to successfully refine pills. Yi Xing reached out and touched the cauldron, sighing softly before crossing his arms and saying, Look at another one. Yi Xing walked around feeling but kept saying, Not this one, no, this one is not good either. Ji De Quan and the others followed, exclaiming in frustration before saying, Little junior brother. Are there really no of the 7,749 treasure cauldrons in? 
This alchemy room that matched your affinity, everyone followed suit and were exhausted, Wang Xiaojian sat down wiping his sweat and spoke up, indeed, all the superior treasure cauldrons in the alchemy room have not been chosen by the junior brother. Are we supposed to choose from the broken cauldrons in the warehouse? If we fail to patrol the cauldron successfully today, it may violate the rules of the alchemy room, and if the elder finds out, the little junior brother will be expelled from the alchemy room, Yixing turned around with difficulty and replied, Senior brothers, it's not that I don't want to choose, but I don't know why, I just can't feel any connection or affinity with these treasure cauldrons, I feel really helpless. He furrowed his brows and thought to himself. Yi Sheng has always been loved by everyone before, what happened today? Feeling a strange sense of mental uncertainty, another person suddenly said, Elder senior brother, second senior brother, have you forgotten? Burial tripod was moved here a few days ago, and last night elder senior brother even tried to tame it, but burial tripod struck him eight times in a row, this person immediately came up with an idea, maybe let the junior try that burial tripod, those present here looked at each other confused, Ji De Quan hesitated and said, this, then he turned around and shouted loudly, idle talk, is patrol cauldron a game? Even taming a normal treasure cauldron carelessly can be swallowed by the treasure cauldron. Even resulting in loss of life, moreover, it is the strange burial tripod, Yixing paused evilly and said, burial tripod? That name is truly special, Yi Sheng's eyes brightened and continued, or senior brother can take me to see it. After a while, everyone went to see the burial tripod, Ji De Quan said, Brother, to be honest with you, this cauldron is called burial tripod. Because it was brought back by the sect elder from an ancient tomb of the ancients, but since having it no special place has been found, so it was thrown to our alchemy room. After being transferred, the disciples of the alchemy room also tried to tame it, but unexpectedly, when taming this burial tripod it was extremely sinister, not only could it not be tamed but it also attacked the one trying to tame it. Other treasure cauldrons that were not successfully tamed may at most only damage the blood vessels, but this burial tripod is extremely violent, a wrong move could break one's bones and endanger their life. The disciples of the alchemy room have all failed to tame this cauldron. With two even seriously injured, now they cannot handle it themselves, he thought and felt scared. Last night I was also hit by it eight times in a row, my bones were all broken, the tragic scene at that time must have been seen by the disciples, little junior brother I advise you, as soon as Ji De Quan said this, Yi Sheng had already walked over to the burial tripod, Ji De Quan was surprised, then the whole group shouted loudly, little junior brother do not touch it, it's dangerous, dot. As soon as Yi Sheng touched the burial tripod emitting a powerful spiritual light, he felt a strong ancestral force, immediately opened his eyes in amazement, and suddenly a whirlwind emerged, blowing everyone away. Ji De Quan once again suffered pain, surrounded by a thick smoke, he got up in a daze, clutching his head and asked, What's going on? Where is little junior brother? Huang Xiao Jian scared pointed inside the room and shouted, Quick, senior brother. Look. Ji De Quan looked over and shouted in horror, Little junior brother has been eaten by the burial tripod. Yi Sheng, who had been standing in front of them, was sucked into the burial tripod, clenching his teeth and trying to pull himself out. Thinking, this time, it's over. This burial tripod is really weird, why did you suck me in? Let me out. He struggled to get up, but the suction force got stronger as if to swallow Yi Sheng. Everyone rushed in horror, Ji De Quan panicked and shouted, Quick, save little junior brother, then the senior brothers hurriedly followed. Yi Xing clenched his teeth, his eyes red, and his body suddenly emitted an unusual layer of spiritual light, realizing something he thought to himself. Ji De Quan ran over shouting, Little junior brother, we've come to rescue you. As he reached out once again towards the burial tripod, a massive surge of energy slammed them all away. They exclaimed, again, before being thrown violently against the wall. Ji De Quan groaned in pain, his vision blurred as he saw the burial tripods hovering in front of him, he sighed deeply, ah, and then stood up to help the others. Ji De Quan angrily exclaimed, 
damn it, the burial tripod has gone crazy today, I wonder how little junior brother is doing. As they looked towards the burial tripod and saw a hand hurriedly grabbing the cauldron and rushing to check on Yisheng. Looking down from above in concern, Ji Daquan asked, Little junior brother, are you still alive? Yisheng weakly replied, Senior brother, his eyes unfocused as he reached out shakily and said, Help me out. Ji Daquan grabbed my hand along with everyone else to help me out in my weakened state. After leaving the burial tripod, Ji Daquan supported Yi Sheng and asked anxiously, Little junior brother, are you okay? Yi Sheng, with a weary look and dark circles under his eyes, whispered, Big senior brother, I'm okay, just hungry, I want to eat a lot of things. He gritted his teeth with a stomach full of anger and resentment, saying to himself, I had to work hard to accumulate spiritual weapon for three days, only to have it all absorbed by this blasted cauldron in an instant, how annoying, back in the dining hall, Yi Sheng ate voraciously to regain his depleted strength. All the disciples were now covered in injuries. Looking at him intently, Ji Daquan asked, what exactly happened to little junior brother? His cultivation at the second level of refining body was just devoured by the burial tripod. Huang Xiao Jian also spoke up, little junior brother, you shouldn't have touched that burial tripod, to avoid any unforeseen circumstances. Just then, with a mouth still full of food, Yi Sheng's whole body burst forth with spiritual weapon, his cultivation rapidly increasing and spreading throughout the room, leaving Ji De Quan and Huang Xiao Jian surprised and bewildered. Yi Sheng closed his eyes, his body enveloped by a bright spiritual light, feeling refreshed. Ji De Quan exclaimed in disbelief, refining qi at the second level, and the cultivation of the little junior brother is increasing again, am I seeing things? Huang Xiao Jian also couldn't believe it, saying, cultivation decreasing and then recovering, is this a dream? Yi Sheng stood up abruptly, slamming the table and shouting, I must find that burial tripod for revenge. He couldn't swallow this anger, thinking to himself, from childhood to now, I have only deceived and plundered others, no one has dared to steal from me. Today, a cauldron tore away the spiritual energy I had worked so hard to obtain. I must seek vengeance, Ji De Quan immediately stopped Yi Sheng, telling him not to be impulsive. But as soon as he touched Yi Sheng's clothes, Yi Sheng's legs inexplicably burst into flames and rushed away. Ji De Quan exclaimed, Little junior brother, followed by a loud and confused yell, what is happening? Yi Sheng's shoes moved automatically, then he disappeared at a speed like a bullet, leaving everyone with only shadows and a cloud of smoke. Ji De Quan was stunned for a moment, then calmly said, What's going on? Running so fast, has little junior brother practiced the sword art of Evergreen Immortal Sect? Wang Xiao Jian next to him replied, Little junior brother just joined the sect, so he doesn't have the qualifications to learn the sword art, and besides, he doesn't even use a sword. Ji De Quan said eagerly, Let's go see, I feel that little junior brother is a bit unusual. In a blink of an eye, Yi Sheng was hung upside down on a tree, angrily gritting his teeth and shouting. Do shoes know how to run? Could it be that the shoes have become demons? He staggered and sat up straight on the tree, frowning and muttering, hmm. Not right. Yi Sheng noticed something unusual and sat up straight, taking off his shoes to examine them, then said, when I arrived at Evergreen Immortal Sect, I was clearly wearing a pair of normal fabric shoes, why has the material changed now? It seems to be made of animal skin, Yi Sheng looked closely at the shoes and brought them close to his face to observe, his eyes widened and he exclaimed, there is spiritual energy flowing on the surface like this. This is clearly a low-grade spiritual energy, and he marvels, heavens, how did Wang Dai Tao turn my shoes into a spiritual weapon? The Ji De Quan people quickly rushed over, and saw him sitting on a tree in a panic, asking, Little junior brother, are you okay? Why did you climb up the tree? Yi Sheng did not respond, still thinking in his head, could it be the burial tripod? The burial tripod absorbed my spiritual energy to enhance the quality of the shoes, this is the only reasonable explanation, his eyes lit up, if that's the case, then the burial tripod is not a small treasure, is it? Yi Sheng stood on the tree excitedly shouting, Heavens, that treasure, aha! 
Yi Sheng has never been at a loss before, and now I have found a treasure, the people below looked at him with gaping mouths, worriedly saying, little junior brother, what happened? Something feels off, perhaps the burial tripod has damaged his brain, suddenly, someone forcefully kicked open the door of the alchemy room from outside, Wei Bai Hui angrily led the people in, shouting, Yi Sheng, come out here for me. Grandfather came to seek revenge. Ji De Quan angrily pointed at the group of Wei Bai Hui people and said, How dare you come to our alchemy room and act recklessly, tired of living, isn't it? A bearded man stepped forward to Wei Bai Hui and smirked, Fatty Ji, stop threatening people here, our senior brother Zhu Yi Kun brought disciples from Forging Room today to demand justice for Wei Junior Brother, if you can't make us satisfied, don't blame us for being ruthless, this person is the senior brother of Forging Room, Zhu Yi Kun. Ji De Quan's face turned dark as he shouted, Justice my ass, Alchemy Room and Forging Room have always been at odds, you look down on us, we look at you like fools. Not just today but every day, Ji De Quan then raised his middle finger provocatively at them, saying, If you want to fight, let's fight, don't come up with any stupid excuses. Yi Xing leaped down from the tree, thinking to himself, after the burial tripod improved the shoes, the quality is indeed excellent, jumping down from the tree and landing so lightly, as if practicing flying spells like a fairy. Seeing Yi Sheng, Wei Bai Hui aggressively pointed at him and said, Yi Sheng, you stealing my alchemy room disciple position is truly despicable. He then smugly continued, Now I, Wei Bai Hui, am joining the forging room. Today, Senior brother Zhu Yi Kun brought me here to punish you. Will you kneel down and admit your mistake, or should I use force to make you submit? Yi Xing crossed his arms and replied, Wei Bai Hui, I have a question for you. What level is your cultivation at now? Wei Bai Hui smirked and began boasting, I, Wei Bai Hui, am a naturally talented individual. Before joining the Evergreen Immortal Sect, I had already cultivated for two years, reaching the second level of refining the body. I am about to break through to the third level now, upon hearing this, Yi Xing quietly asked Ji De Quan, senior brother, why is he so slow in cultivation? It took him two years to reach the second level, while I only took three days. Is Wei Bai Hui just a useless person? Ji De Quan replied, junior brother, in reality, Wei Bai Hui's cultivation speed is normal. Your fast progress is due to the high-quality spiritual herbs you consume. Furthermore, my younger brother's talent is truly excellent, Yi Xing pondered silently and then smiled, clenching his fist tightly and saying, if he is like me, just refining qi to the second level, Yi Xing won't be afraid of him. Seeing the group of people happily chatting and ignoring him, Wei Bai Hui scowled and arrogantly said, what's wrong, Yi Xing? Can't talk. Are you scared? You've only just entered the alchemy room, you're probably still a useless person, but he activated his internal energy, with a spiritual weapon surrounding his body, and continued to taunt, in front of Wei Bai Hui, I am as weak as a chick, quickly kneel down and admit your mistake, call out, grandfather, twice. Yi Xing pretended not to hear clearly and asked him, call out what, then teased Wei Bai Hui to provoke his outburst, is it, grandfather, Yi Xing pretended to turn to Ji De Quan and asked, Senior brother, did you hear what he said? Ji De Quan rubbed his ear and replied, No, I didn't hear it clearly. At this moment, Yi Xing shouted loudly, Wei Bai Hui, have you not eaten yet? Speaking so softly, what are you even calling? Wei Bai Hui, enraged, shouted, Grandfather, grandfather, grandfather. Have you heard clearly this time? Immediately, he felt that something was wrong. Yi Xing puffed out his cheeks and couldn't help but burst out laughing, causing everyone in the alchemy room to laugh along. Yi Xing pointed at him and said, Ha ha good boy, you've heard it, grandfather has heard it, grandfather is here ha ha. Dot, realizing that he had been fooled, Wei Bai Hui gritted his teeth and cursed, Yi Sheng, I'll kill you, how dare you play tricks on me, if you have the courage, fight me fair and square, if you don't, then you're a coward. Zhu Yi Kun also raised his finger and challenged, Ji De Quan, the alchemy room always plays tricks and schemes, do you have the courage to fight fair and square? 
whoever falls first is the loser. Ji De Quan sneered at them, humph, little junior brother comes from a common background, never practiced cultivation before joining the evergreen immortal sect, we're far superior to you all. After speaking, he turned to Yi Sheng and said, little junior brother, don't let them fool you, the alchemy room is a sacred place where no one dares to be arrogant. We shouldn't underestimate these dogs to the point of death. Upon hearing this, Zhu Yi Kun immediately retorted, all right, speaking of strength, the entire evergreen immortal sect combined is not as good as your alchemy room. We will guard the entrance, starting today we will block the entrance to the alchemy room. He glanced at Yi Sheng and said, little guy, you better stay inside the alchemy room for the rest of your life, at this moment, Yi Sheng coldly said, hold on a minute, who said I'm not a match? Zhu Yi Kun and Wei Bai Hui quickly stopped and looked at each other with a sinister smile. Yi Sheng stepped forward courageously and said, Disciple Yi Sheng of the Alchemy Room seeks guidance. Ji De Quan and everyone else looked amazed and quickly tried to stop him, reminding him, Little junior brother cannot compete, your cultivation is inconsistent, your foundation is unstable, how can you fight against Wei Bai Hui who has been cultivating for two years? Huang Xiao Jian also spoke up to prevent him, indeed, listen to senior brother's advice, focus on resting and improving in the alchemy room first, then you can challenge Wei Bai Hui without delay. Wei Bai Hui arrogantly pointed at Yi Sheng and laughed. Ha ha, Yi Sheng, you brought this upon yourself. He leaped up and shouted, now, even if you regret it, it's too late. Die, with those words, he raised both hands, releasing a burst of spiritual energy that vaguely formed the shadow of a large bull with massive horns. He charged forward at high speed, yelling fiercely, Man Nyo Ding Jiao. The people from the alchemy room were left open-mouthed in shock, thinking, this isn't good. What a sneaky little guy. He immediately used a big move to deal with our little junior brother. He's too fast and too strong. Our little junior brother can't dodge this. This is dangerous, in contrast, the people from the forging room folded their arms and watched with satisfaction. Saying, haha, this move of Wei junior brother was taught by Chang Ming, the senior brother of Black Cloud Peak. Once executed, it's like lightning, fast and unstoppable. Wei junior brother's grudge can be avenged, Wei by Huey's eyes gleamed as he thrust his fist forward, shouting, Yi Sheng, die. Just as his fist was about to connect with Yi Sheng's face, Yi Sheng's shoes suddenly lit up, activating just in time. He stared in amazement while Wei Bai Hui remained unaware of what was happening. He looked up in astonishment and exclaimed, What? Immediately, he missed his punch and slammed his face straight into a large tree trunk. This punch left Wei Bai Hui's face bruised and battered as he slid down the tree to the ground, looking utterly miserable. Struggling to sit up while clutching his head, his nose kept bleeding as he muttered to himself, Damn it, where's Yi Sheng? Damn it, this is really strange, how can he run so fast? He turned around, desperately searching for Yi Sheng. At that moment, Yi Sheng stood firmly on a tree, smirking as he said, Wei Bai Hui, I'm right here. Blood streaming from his nose, Wei Bai Hui turned around only to be met with a powerful kick to the face from Yi Sheng. Leaping from above, Yi Sheng delivered a blow that sent Wei Bai Hui flying, his face swollen from the impact. Sitting up in pain, Wei Bai Hui cursed angrily, Damn it, you despicable Yi Sheng, how dare you ambush me! Today I'll cripple you, with that, he charged again, launching a burst of spiritual energy at Yi Sheng, but once again Yi Sheng moved swiftly to dodge it. Wei Bai Hui, horrified, thought to himself, impossible, he dodged again. His eyes reddened as he tried to reassure himself, I refuse to believe this. He threw another punch and shouted, death to me, echoing. Yi Sheng once again flew like the wind behind him, smiling at Wei Bai Hui in front of him, silently marveling, my ordinary cloth shoes after being enhanced by the burial tripod have unbelievably fast speed. This little guy Wei Bai Hui can't even touch the corner of my clothes. Burial tripod is truly a wonderful treasure. He happily kicked him from behind while cursing, this little guy dares to bother Yi Sheng, eat another kick from me. 
Wei Bai Hui was knocked flat on the ground groaning non-stop, while the alchemy room disciples were amazed. They immediately cheered for the victory of their junior brother. Huang Xiao Jian laughed and said. Indeed worthy disciples of the alchemy room, defeating the forging room in just three moves, truly amazing. Wei Bai Hui lay defeated under the feet of the forging room disciples, his eyes filled with anger and resentment. He sat up, breathing heavily, clenched his fists, and whispered to himself, What is this all about? Why did we fail in the hands of that useless person Yixing? Yixing saw his face and mocked, Wei Bai Hui, even if you train longer, how? In front of a genius like me, all your efforts are in vain. Ji De Quan praised Yixing, well said, watching their victorious appearance, Zhu Yi Kun said in a low voice, Ji De Quan Alchemy Room, you are too pleased, it's just luck that you won a match, we still have a long future to see who can laugh till the end. He then loudly ordered, let's go, and then pulled the others out, hearing Wei by Huey's shouted voice in the sky, Zhu Senior Brother, I'm not convinced, on the way back, he kept shouting and complaining, that useless person just joined the sect and trained for only a few days. How could he defeat me, I want another fight with him. Zhu Yi Kun stared at him and said, Wei Junior Brother, don't rush, I've discovered earlier that the reason Yi Sheng could defeat you is because of the pair of second-grade spiritual weapon shoes he wore. His speed is incredible, even if you have cultivation, you can't do anything against him, second-grade spiritual weapon. Wei Bai Hui exclaimed in surprise, then immediately refuted, how could a poor little guy like Yi Sheng have a second-grade spiritual weapon? You must understand that even the Master Peak Disciples of the Evergreen Immortal Sect rarely possess second-grade spiritual weapons, Zhu Yi Kun casually replied, indeed, a second-grade spiritual weapon is very valuable. Your elder brother Chang Ming, the senior disciple of Black Cloud Peak, may be at the top, but the weapon he uses is just a third-grade spiritual weapon given by the sect. He thought to himself, it's already impressive for ordinary disciples to have a second-grade spiritual weapon. Most disciples can only use normal weapons with decent materials, but the alchemy room is a special place, with treasures everywhere. Obtaining a few second-grade spiritual weapons is not difficult for them. He couldn't help but feel greedy when mentioning this, his eyes gleaming. That's why we always want to dominate the alchemy room from the forging room. After all, who wouldn't want a juicy piece of meat? It's just unexpected that Ji De Quan values Yi Xing so much. After listening to Zhu Yi Kun's explanation, Wei Bai Hui clapped his hands and said, Thank you, senior brother Zhu, for your guidance, I understand now. He gritted his teeth and said firmly, this time I will go find my master to borrow a second-grade spiritual weapon, I will definitely not spare Yi Sheng, even if it means my death. Even if I don't kill him, I will make sure he is crippled. As night fell, Yi Sheng smiled faintly, carrying a large bag on his back, thinking to himself, the chaos during the day has confused the way by Hui group, now is the perfect time to tame the burial tripod. When he arrived at the room, Yi Sheng stood in front of the burial tripod, stroking his chin in contemplation. During the day, the burial tripod absorbed my spiritual energy crazily, causing a significant decrease in my cultivation. I believe this is a hungry pill cauldron, in desperate need of a spiritual weapon to replenish itself. He placed the large bag down, filled with spiritual herb pills, whispering to himself, Today, Yi Sheng will fill your hungry belly. To satisfy you, to conquer you, the burial tripod's mouth suddenly boiling, creating a powerful suction force. Yi Xing raised his eyebrows in astonishment. Sensing the spiritual weapon pill, the burial tripod began to suck in food like a tornado. Yi Xing couldn't stand firm against the fierce wind and said, Oh my goodness, so urgent, he quickly ran to embrace the burial tripod and yelled, But this time, you won't be able to suck me in. Today, I will definitely conquer you. Before he could finish his sentence, the burial tripod, with its maximum suction force, sucked in all the food and then threw him far away. Yi Xing held his head and cursed softly, damn it. Suddenly. His eyes widened, shocked by the image appearing before him, 
the burial tripod releases a sinister energy, destroying all living beings for eternity, its fierce spirit creating endless enemies, the burial tripod broke through like a deep abyss, emitting a brilliant and immense power throughout the room. Half a month quickly passed, Yi Xing closed his eyes, concentrating on cultivation, with spiritual energy radiating throughout his body as the onlookers in the alchemy room watched. When Yi Xing gently opened his eyes, Ji De Quan joyfully praised, Congratulations to the little junior brother for breaking through to refine body level 3. This speed is not to be set outside the sect, even the top disciples of other peaks cannot compare, indeed we are all talents in the alchemy room, Yi Xing stood up humbly and said, We have all been nurtured by the alchemy room, and we must also thank our senior brothers. Right, senior brother Dai, the skill you passed on to me seems to only be able to cultivate up to the third level of refining body, how should I cultivate the skill after that? Ji De Quan shook his finger, Junior brother, there is something you don't know. Skills are not easily passed on, it is the tradition of our evergreen immortal sect. So the skill I pass on to my disciples only cultivate up to the third level of refining qi. Pausing for a moment, Ji De Quan continued, Master Peak Zhou Lin Lang, the head of Qin Yun Master Peak in the alchemy room, is now weak and unable to pass on the skill to us. So if the disciples of our alchemy room want to continue cultivating, they must go to the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion to choose the suitable divine technique and cultivate it, after understanding the reason, Yi Sheng sighed lightly and said, so that's how it is. He thought for a moment, Zhou Lin Lang is the master peak I relied on to enter the evergreen immortal sect. I heard that he has gone crazy, but I didn't expect him to still be the manager of the alchemy room. The next day, Yi Sheng went to the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion. As he was about to enter, a burly man stopped him and asked, Stop, where are you from, disciple? Yi Sheng, feeling confused, raised his hand in greeting and said, Hello senior brother, I am a disciple of the alchemy room. I am here today to choose some skills for cultivation. The man crossed his arms and looked at him coldly before speaking, So you are a non-regular disciple, do you know where you are? How can a non-regular disciple like you just enter at will, this man was Yang Lin, a disciple of the outside sect. Yi Xing respectfully bowed and asked him, May I ask senior brother, what should I do to enter, Yang Lin gritted his teeth in annoyance. Then he impatiently explained, the lowest level of the Tibetan Sutra pavilion is only open to inside and outside sect disciples. As for non-regular disciples, they need to have sect contribution points to enter the middle and upper levels. All disciples of the Evergreen Immortal Sect need sect contribution points to enter, don't you understand these rules? Yi Xing dejectedly mumbled, I initially intended to steal, but I didn't expect to have to pay a small price. He took out a lime grass from his belongings and said, What should I do to earn contribution points? His eyes gleamed with malice as he stared at the lime grass, then quickly snatched it from Yi Xing's hand, startling him. The man spoke, seeing that you're new and somewhat understanding, I won't make it difficult for you. I'll tell you what to do. He pointed in another direction and said to Yi Sheng, Do you see the contribution hall over there? Go there to receive a special token, then you can accept tasks from the sect. Once you accumulate ten points, you can enter the lower level of the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion and choose any skill book. Yi Xing thanked him, thank you, senior brother, for the guidance. But as a new disciple with low cultivation, what kind of tasks would be suitable for me? Yang Lin responded, as far as I know, the contribution hall recently issued a task to collect star moon grass. This herb grows in the secret forest behind the sect, which isn't too dangerous and is close to the sect, making it convenient to go back and forth. Most importantly, one star moon grass can be exchanged for two contribution points. Junior brother just needs to pick five trees and he can enter the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion. Yi Xing entered the contribution hall and couldn't help but be amazed. There were many people inside, but they were only lining up for two tasks, while the other side of Huang Lao was empty to the point that he was lying down comfortably with his eyes closed. Yi Xing stood outside, frowning and sighing, too many people lining up. He heard someone in front discussing, I wonder if it's our turn for the star moon grass task. I don't have hope, there are too many people lining up ahead, that person sighed, it's not easy to get a top task, 
still couldn't get one, listening to this. Yi Xing became even more worried, thinking to himself, the star moon grass task is almost out, what should I do? If I line up normally, I definitely won't get it, he looked at the most deserted task lane here, this task lane, he continued to ponder, this task lane has no one, I wonder if I can take the task. After considering for a moment, he gathered his courage and went over, forget it, even though I know for sure there must be a problem with this task lane. The crowd lined up on the other side saw him walking over there, were shocked for a moment, then pointed at him and exclaimed, oh my, look at that little guy, what is he up to? The crowd began to gossip non-stop, one person said, daring to come to Huang Pa Pai's place to take on a mission, this little guy really has courage, he must be a new disciple of the sect, I wonder if he knows that at Huang Lao's place it's all a trap, just a little careless and not only won't earn contribution points, but may also lose contribution points. Another person whispered, that's right, I have a senior brother who took on a mission at Huang Pa Pai's place three times, from a high-ranking official directly to a poor man. There's no place to cry, Yi Sheng listened to them talking with a dissatisfied face, he approached the table of Huang Lao who was dozing off, Yi Sheng politely bowed his head and softly asked, Senior brother, can I take on a mission here? Huang Lao, still half asleep, opened his eyes, disturbed from his deep sleep, the old man grumpily scolded, who's there? Interrupting my sleep during the day. Yi Xing behaved obediently, pointing to himself and saying to Huang Lao, Senior brother, I am Yi Sheng, here to receive the mission. Huang Lao frowned and quietly repeated the words, Senior brother, then angrily slammed the table and scolded, Who is your senior brother? I am your grandfather, call me Huang Lao. Yi Xing scratched his head awkwardly and said, Hello Huang Lao, I want to receive the mission for the Star Moon Grass. Huang Lao smirked and looked at him threateningly, Your courage is quite admirable, not afraid to come to me for the mission. Who gave you the audacity? Yi Xing stuttered, then immediately thought, Perhaps the pleasant snoring of Huang Lao has attracted me. His eyes lit up with excitement as he began to praise him, I feel that with such a pleasant snoring, Huang Lao must be a good person, so I unconsciously came here. The people around heard him and murmured, Damn, this little guy is really good at flattery, little guy, just ask him for a favor like a human, what's with the pleasant snoring, I despise it. Huang Lao sipped his tea in silence before saying, Little guy, everyone in the evergreen immortal sect is rubbish, spending all day spouting lies and fake sentiments. It's rare to find someone who speaks the truth like you. Very good. Of course, Yi Xing's answer pleased him greatly. The others looked on in confusion as Huang Lao took a token out of his robe, engraved with the characters Chang Qing, and handed it to Yi Sheng. He said, This Star Moon Grass task is yours. Take this mission token, it will remind you of the specific task details. Go now. Yi Sheng received the token, his eyes shining with joy, and he said, Thank you, Huang Lao. You are the brightest star in the dark night. And your mission-giving posture is so handsome. Smiling, he waved and added, I'll head off now and talk to you later, Huang Lao, Huang Lao, satisfied, responded, go on, I hope the evergreen immortal sect has more disciples who like to speak the truth like you, some couldn't hold back and vomited on the spot, while everyone else exclaimed in unison, disgusting, with the mission in hand, Yi Xing immediately set off facing a dense forest ahead. The forest is full of abundant animals, Yi Sheng observed around and excitedly said, this must be the mountain behind Evergreen Immortal Sect. He thought to himself, everyone is competing for this task, I wonder if Star Moon Grass is easy to find. My shoes are now second grade spiritual weapon, walking in this forest is effortless, very fast. I might be able to find Star Moon Grass faster. With that in mind, he quickly ran off to start searching. Yi Sheng ran with all his might, breathing heavily, while running and observing around. Suddenly, he saw something shining on the ground, he joyfully whispered, Star Moon Grass, finally found one. He then hurriedly ran over, Yi Sheng bent down to pull it out when suddenly a foot came forward and stepped on it before him. Making Yi Sheng look up in frustration. 
In front of him was a man with tied hair looking at him mockingly. Yixing annoyed said, Senior brother, I found this star moon grass first, could you please lift your foot a bit? He frowned, observed the man in front of him, and evaluated, looking at the clothes of the person in front of me, it must be a disciple of the evergreen immortal sect, cultivation fluctuates not much, not much different from Wei Bai Hui. The man opened his mouth and said, all the star moon grass behind this mountain has been taken by Ling Xiao, if you still dare to rush in, do you think you have lived too long? Dot, Yixing scratched his head and smiled, Ling Xiao. So that's how it is. He stood up and looked at him negotiating, Senior brother, how about you give me the star moon grass roots trampled under your feet, then I will leave immediately, do you agree? The man frowned. His voice coldly said, Do you dare to make conditions? Get out of here. He then aggressively threw a punch towards Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng immediately dodged this attack with cold, sharp eyes and quickly counterattacked. In the forest at that time echoed screams of Io, the man who was aggressive a moment ago was now bruised, bleeding non stop from his nose. Yi Sheng looked at him lying motionless and said, The world is so beautiful, why are you all so hot tempered? Just calm down. Dot. Even with such low cultivation, you dare to be so impetuous and reckless, it's all your fault, he said before bending down to uproot the star moon grass, smiling smugly. The first star moon grass is now in my hands, let's continue to find the next one. Yixing chuckled and then suddenly stopped, a wicked smile appearing on his face as he turned around, thinking, wait a minute, it seems like I haven't done the main thing yet, he walked over and sat down searching the man's body and whispered, not checking to see if you have anything good on you, isn't that violating the principles of being a righteous person like me, Yi Sheng? After a while of searching, he exclaimed, damn it. This can't be star moon grass. He found a bag containing star moon grass on the man's body. He opened the bag and laughed triumphantly, ha ha, there's more, I didn't expect to find four plants, plus the one I just took. I have collected all five star moon grass plants. He couldn't help but hum softly at his unexpectedly smooth success, I have completed the task as soon as I entered the mountain, although Yi Sheng is a genius, when it comes to tasks, just raise your hand and it can be done, but geniuses have to try harder. If you have come, bring back more star moon grass, Yi Sheng continued to discover another clump of star moon grass under a tree. He happily exclaimed, found another one. Just then, a loud shout echoed, there. In front of him were two tall men shouting loudly, it's the little guy stealing Ling Xiao's star moon grass. Yi Xing looked at the two men, one bald with a scar, the other long-haired looking at him with a malicious look, he quickly put his things in his pocket and thought to himself, damn, discovered so soon. Who is this Ling Xiao? Are all the outside sect disciples his subordinates? He assessed the spiritual energy emanating from the two men, silently thinking, these two have a slightly higher cultivation, it seems I can't confront them head on. They rushed towards Yixing shouting, catch him, bring him to Ling Xiao. As they ran towards him, he quickly ran away mocking, goodbye. They angrily yelled, little guy, if you have courage, don't run anymore. Yixing ran and laughed provocatively, if you have the guts, don't chase me anymore. Whoever stops in front of me will be a dog eating shit. He smirked and whispered, I have secondhand shoes on, you won't catch me. The two men crazily chased after him, shouting, Don't let us catch you, or you'll be beaten to a pulp. They ran for a moment but couldn't catch Yi Sheng. Exhausted, they sat down and said, Damn, how does this little guy outrun us? He gets faster the more he runs. We're so tired. Fine. Let's take a break and drink some water, but when they looked up, they saw Yi Xing leaning against a tree, mocking them, you two senior brothers haven't run enough yet? Why are you so useless? What will you do when you bring a wife home? Leave her alone in the room, these words made them furious, so they continued to chase and curse Yi Xing, you bastard, weasel, keep chasing him, don't dare to mock us or you won't live. Another moment passed, and the two of them were too tired to move, so they opened their mouths and said. Stop chasing, I'm too tired, my whole body spiritual weapon is exhausted, 
how can this little guy run so fast, suddenly, a voice called out, senior brothers, echoing loudly, making them startle and widen their eyes. Yi Xing leaped down from the tree above, causing them to be horrified and exclaimed in disbelief, what the, before he kicked them hard on the head, forcing them to bow down to the ground, their head spinning from the impact, unable to move due to severe injuries, Yi Sheng stood there, chewing casually and boredly saying, luckily, when I left, senior brother gave me a lot of spiritual herbs, so no need to worry about running out of spiritual weapons. He then walked over to snatch the bags on their bodies, happily proclaiming, I've also obtained ten star moon grasses, it seems that killing and looting is the fastest way to get rich, let's continue on, as the time neared noon, Yixing searched the forest with little success, feeling exhausted and sweaty, muttering to himself, after searching all day, still can't find a single star moon grass. Ling Xiao where are you guys, quickly come out and let me rob a little, I have searched so hard for the star moon grass at this time looking up, Yixing coincidentally saw a corner of star moon grass shining on a rock, surprised exclaimed, oh. Finally found another one inch, he flew up like flying, effortlessly climbed to the top of the mountain when he arrived, his face suddenly changed, gaping in amazement muttered to himself, isn't it? Luck explosion, there are four plants here. He crawled back excitedly, suddenly heard something strange that made him startle, the growling sound getting louder, Yixing thought to himself, this doesn't sound right, he curiously stepped closer. Saw the source of the growling, Yi Sheng's face turned pale with horror in front of him was a giant tiger emitting a dazzling light, sharp teeth protruding, eyes closed tightly, Yi Sheng muttered in horror, my mother, Xian Ho white spotted tiger, this is the only danger in collecting star moon grass, didn't expect to encounter it, he slowly retreated worriedly murmuring to himself, won't be able to harvest. This little guy is no joke. Let's move quickly. It's still better to rob Ling Xiao's group, elsewhere, behind the mountain, a clearing held a table with a box full of star moon grass. A man sat leisurely on a chair, observing the people lying battered on the ground. He lifted his teacup and said, in this evergreen immortal sect, there are still people who don't respect Ling Xiao, even daring to attack my people. He smirked and thought to himself, interesting, the recently beaten individuals, with bruised faces, started clamoring, that's right, Ling Xiao, that little guy is extremely cunning and hateful. Not only did he injure us, but he also stole our star moon grass, Ling Xiao. Don't let him get away with this, the one called Ling Xiao tightened his grip on the teacup, slammed it down on the table with a loud bang, and coldly said, the dense forest behind the mountain is vast, and that guy is fast. Catching him would take too much time. For now, we've gathered enough star moon grass. Let's head back to the evergreen immortal sect, as he spoke, he crushed the teacup and wiped his hands with a cloth, saying maliciously, find out the background of that kid. We have tens of thousands of ways to deal with him. Half an hour later, Ling Xiao and his group aggressively descended the mountain. Yi Xing hid in the tall grass, secretly watching them. He thought to himself, the leader must be Ling Xiao, why are they coming down the mountain like this? He sighed in frustration, thinking, where can we rob now? He then noticed a man carrying a large box on his back. He silently thought to himself, this person must be carrying the star moon grass that Ling Xiao's group collected on this trip. Yi Sheng's eyes lit up with excitement. He stared longingly at the box, thinking that if he opened it, he might become rich. Unable to wait any longer, Yi Sheng emerged from the bushes, waving and greeting Ling Xiao, saying good morning. The words shocked the group. Before Ling Xiao could respond, Yi Sheng continued, flattering Ling Xiao and expressing his desire to be friends. Ling Xiao looked at him coldly and disdainfully replied. What are you that you dare to befriend me? The guy who was just beaten pointed at Yi Sheng and shouted, Ling Xiao, that's him, he's the one who beat us and stole the star moon grass. I didn't expect him to appear here. Don't let him escape. Yi Sheng listened to them accusing him non-stop, simply smiling, Ling Xiao, looking calm but angry, scolded, little guy, if you willingly walk into the trap, then I'll accept it, he then ordered his subordinates to go after him go, catch him for me. 
Yi Xing turned around, quickly ran away, shouting, Is that so? leaving them in a cloud of dust, while observing secretly, This Ling Xiao guy isn't that stupid, he sent only two guys to catch me. While he stayed to protect the star moon grass. I need to come up with a different plan. The subordinates chased after Yi Sheng but couldn't catch him, then reported back saying, Ling Xiao, this little guy is very agile, we couldn't catch him and he got away. Ling Xiao, no longer patient, waved his hand and said. Let him go, continue on the road. Immediately, right now behind, Yi Sheng's provocative voice rang out. Ling Xiao, where is your turtle going? How can it be so easy, quickly hand over the star moon grass in your hand to me, I will spare your life, Ling Xiao angrily gnashed his teeth. You dare challenge me, he crazily rushed towards Yi Sheng, his subordinates also advancing with a loud shout everyone, advance with Ling Xiao. Ling Xiao invoked spiritual energy and shouted, watch this, then with great power, he punched towards Yi Sheng. Seeing the lightning-like flashes on Ling Xiao's hands, Yi Xing appeared horrified and tremblingly said, too strong. When Ling Xiao launched his attack, Yi Xing immediately dodged to the side, causing his punch to miss and directly hit a large tree behind him. Yi Xing panicked and ran away, shouting, run fast. Seeing the tree directly destroyed and collapsed, Yi Xing terrified sweat, thinking silently, wow, this Ling Xiao's cultivation is too high as a leader. Ling Xiao's subordinates rushed to chase after Yi Sheng, only to be stopped by Ling Xiao. He raised his hand and shouted, Stop, forcefully, then said in a low voice, Clearly, this little guy has intentions with the star moon grass. Turn back, do not chase anymore, continue on the journey without paying attention to that little guy, the bald subordinate unwillingly spoke up, Ling Xiao, actually, that guy's cultivation is very low, any of us can easily deal with him, he runs too fast to catch up, probably dead. Before he could finish speaking, Yi Sheng's mocking voice interrupted, Ling Xiao, Ling Ji son, grandfather is back here, making those present unable to believe. Ling Xiao frowned and turned around, then heard him continue to challenge, today, Yi Sheng will set aside his words, those star moon grass are all mine, if you do not hand them over. Ling Xiao interrupted impatiently, what if I don't hand them over? Yi Xing cheerfully replied, if you don't give them to me. I'll curse that Ji Sun turtle of yours to death. Ling Xiao showed a look of anger and disgust, exclaiming, I have never seen anyone as shameless as this. He and his subordinates tightened their grip on each other's hands, shouting orders, charge, everyone charge forward, do not separate. I don't believe we can't catch him daring to blatantly steal from me. His eyes flashed with a cruel glint, speaking loudly, I will kill that shameless bastard of yours. He chased after his subordinates, aggressively threatening, little guy, don't let me catch you, otherwise I will make you taste all the torture from Ling Xiao, Yi Xing leisurely ran ahead, hearing the insults he turned back with a teasing smile. He jumped onto a large mountain peak, causing them to look confused, shouting, come here. Yi Xing looked down from above. Challenging, ha, Ling Xiao, I don't underestimate you, but in my eyes, you are all garbage. Let's settle this on the mountaintop, Ling Xiao gnashed his teeth in anger, emitting a sinister spiritual weapon, shouting, damn it, settle it on the mountaintop. Are you worthy? Come at me. Yi Xing smirked and ran towards the Xian Hu white spotted tiger sleeping soundly, stepping on its head. Yi Xing thought to himself, O oh mother, stepping on the head of such a large beast. After three years of being able to roam outside freely, he immediately ran away. The Xian Hu white spotted tiger, awakened by the commotion, still didn't understand what was happening. Its eyes glowed with evil energy. At that moment, Ling Xiao rushed over, shouting, Go, that little guy is trapped on the mountain peak, he has nowhere to run, quickly catch him. The ferocious crowd rushed in, and the tiger slowly stood up. Its eyes met Ling Xiao's group, both parties paused for a few seconds and then the tiger exclaimed in disbelief, really? In response, the tiger let out a thunderous roar, along with its fierce gaze, instantly knocking the Ling Xiao group into the air and to the ground. 
Ling Xiao, sweating profusely, muttered, It's bad, it's the ninth grade spirit beast Xian Huo white spotted tiger, why did we invade its territory? The tiger leaped and attacked each person with its sharp claws, causing them to fall one by one, even Ling Xiao was injured by its sharp claws, and fiercely threw him into a tree trunk. Yixing sat calmly on a large rock, watching as everyone laughed mockingly. Ha ha Ling Xiao, what happened? I didn't even need to intervene, my disciple Xian Huo white spotted tiger can easily handle you all. Ling Xiao grimaced at his wounds, still cursing defiantly, Yi Sheng, you are truly shameless, deliberately leading us here. Before he could finish speaking, he was struck in the face by the powerful tiger's tail, causing him to faint. Yi Sheng jumped down, picked up the Star Moon grass container, and cheerfully said, Achieving this without much effort, I have always been decisive and efficient. Walking through the crowd lying on the ground, he exclaimed in satisfaction, Ha ha! I truly am a genius. Excitedly carrying the container, Yi Sheng left without realizing that Xian Huo white spotted tiger was following behind. The tiger growled, Huh? glaring at Yixing with dangerous, evil energy-filled eyes, making Yixing freeze in place. Xian Huo white-spotted tiger spoke menacingly, Who did you just call your disciple? Yixing nervously swallowed and thought, Why is it following me? He dodged, laughed, and said, Haha, we are on the same side, all on the same side. After that, he put his hand on his chest and shouted, Great skill chicken thigh, and threw something directly, Seeing the delicious chicken thigh in front of him, Xian Hua's white spotted tiger eyes lit up with desire and chased after it. Yixing arrogantly muttered to himself, The great skill chicken thigh is always a hit, in the past, third uncle was fooled by me using chicken thighs countless times. Dealing with this stupid tiger is as easy as pie, taking a few steps back, he saw that the tiger had somehow returned and was standing there, making him jump and shout, Oh my god! It stood in front of him, licking its lips and wagging its tail incessantly, making Yixing grimace and curse silently, so shameless. Not satisfied with just one chicken thigh, you want more. He threw another thigh and told it, go on, the tiger looked at the chicken thigh with love in its eyes and ran after it. Seizing this opportunity, Yixing quickly ran away, telling himself, run fast, wanting to catch his breath, his whole body drenched in sweat, still helplessly saying, my goodness, are you done yet? He leaned against a tree and breathed heavily, in front of him the tiger still stood there, licking its lips with desire. Yi Xing sighed and said, for the first time, I see a creature even more shameless than me, dot. He sighed and frowned, saying, you're good, before taking the remaining chicken drumsticks and placing them on the ground, tempting the white spotted tiger with, there are only four left, be a good boy and leave some for me the eyes of Xian Huo white spotted tiger lit up, drooling as it looked down. Yi Sheng watched it devour the food and continued, wait until I return to the sect, I will bring more chicken drumsticks for you, the white spotted tiger continued eating without responding. He approached and gently patted it, saying, listen to me, don't follow me anymore. Then he turned and walked away, promising before leaving, tomorrow I will bring more chicken drumsticks to visit you. After walking a considerable distance without seeing the tiger, Yixing sighed in relief, saying, Thank goodness, that silly tiger didn't follow me, he took off the backpack, opened it, and muttered, So much star moon grass, should I bring them all back or make a big fuss? Suddenly, an idea popped into his mind, and he took out a small burial tripod he carried with him, wondering aloud, If the burial tripod can enhance spiritual weapons, I wonder if it works on herbs too. After saying that, Yi Sheng threw the burial tripod to the ground, it gradually became larger, emitting a dazzling spiritual light that filled the area. Yi Sheng took a few star moon grass roots and threw them into the burial tripod, saying, let's give it a try. Then he waved his hand and threw it in, closing his eyes tightly to channel spiritual energy to exchange with the burial tripod for a spiritual weapon. After a while, the energy source carrying the brilliant golden spiritual light from the burial tripod became even more abundant and intense. Yi Xing excitedly opened his eyes and shouted, Success! The normal star moon grass is a second-grade spiritual herb, 
but this star moon grass has intense spiritual weapon fluctuations. Reaching the third grade. Looking at the star moon grass filled with spiritual weapons inside, he was surprised and exclaimed, it even shows signs of breaking through to the fourth grade. At this moment, Yi Sheng's eyes were only focused on the star moon grass, he determinately shouted, continue, and continued to search. Two hours later, Yi Sheng returned to the contribution hall. He gently placed the box of star moon grass in front of the sleeping Huang Lao, then happily called out, Huang Lao, wake up, I'm back. One person pointed at him and said, look, that little guy who flatters has returned. Another person added, he must have completed the task and come back to collect some contribution points. This little guy is really naive, let's see how Huang Pa Pai deals with him. Huang Lao was awakened from his deep sleep by a loud noise, he opened his eyes and saw Yi Sheng. He was startled and asked, Who are you? Yi Sheng pointed to the box of star moon grass and replied, I am Yi Sheng, you gave me the task of star moon grass before, and now I have completed it. Huang Lao then remembered, grinned strangely, and said, Oh, that was quick. Huang Lao stroked his beard, looked at the box full of star moon grass, nodded and said, Not bad, the amount of star moon grass in the second grade is enough, you can receive a contribution point. Upon hearing this, Yi Sheng was shocked and quickly exclaimed, What? Only one contribution point? Huang Lao. Are you mistaken? One star moon grass is worth two contribution points, and there must be at least thirty branches here, so it should be sixty points, right? Huang Lao angrily pointed at him, with a terrifying face, scolding, garbage, all garbage, the effectiveness of these second grade branches is very low, they are useless. He slammed the table and shouted, only worth one contribution point, take it or leave it. The crowd immediately started gossiping. That kid thought he could take a shortcut, look, he's been caught. The person next to him mocked, haha, Huang Pa Pai dares to take on his mission, truly seeking death. Another person added, it's lucky that he still has one contribution point left, otherwise, it would be even worse. Yi Xing angrily slammed the table and said loudly, Huang Lao, when you gave out the mission, you didn't mention this. Huang Lao replied defiantly, kid, don't waste your words. This place belongs to me, where missions are assigned to the talented sect. The mission I gave you isn't just about collecting these useless things, right? Without the two star moon grasses, don't come bothering me. He then leaned back in his chair impatiently. If you want contribution points, take the three grade star moon grass to exchange. One plant is worth twenty points. If you don't bring back the star moon grass, don't disturb my sleep. Yi Xing gritted his teeth, took out a bag from his body, and threw it hard on the table. Twenty-three grade star moon grasses, I exchanged them for four hundred points, he muttered as he opened the bag. This cunning old man Huang Lao, luckily I was reminded of refining the star moon grass this time, otherwise I would have been fooled by this old man. Thinking of this, he opened his bag and showed him what was inside. Seeing the bright star moon grass, Huang Lao exclaimed, then he held up the star moon grass and said, Did you really pick this star moon grass, and so many of them? The people behind were also amazed and said, That's the star moon grass, why did that kid pick so many? Most of the areas in the back mountains are occupied by Ling Xiao, I only picked three branches from the outside, how did he manage to pick so many? Another person said, And he didn't get into trouble with that Huang Pa Pai. This kid's courage is not bad. Yi Xing frowned, took out the mission badge from his body and said, Huang Lao, you won't renege on your promise this time, hand over the contribution points to me. Then he handed the badge to him, Huang Lao accepted it, his attitude changed and he replied with a smile, I'm Huang Lao, of course I won't renege on my promise, your performance this time is not bad. Then he recorded the points for him, 23rd tier plants, I'll give you 5 contribution points, and the remaining points will be converted into 4 honor points. Yi Xing was stunned again, and he gritted his teeth, what? 5 points? Are you kidding me? Huang Lao placed his hands on the table, saying seriously, I'm not lying to you. 
Honor points in the Evergreen Immortal sect are incredibly valuable and precious beyond comparison, they will be very useful when you cultivate the Divine sect in the future. They have great benefits for you. Then, he waved his hand and laughed heartily, I'm thinking of you, so no need to thank me, the people behind, watching the scene, sneered and continued to whisper. Haha, <laughs> he got a whole five contribution points, I knew Huang Lao wouldn't let the kid off so easily, one person stroked his chin and wondered, I heard that honor points have great benefits when your cultivation is profound, the discussions continued, and someone replied, what nonsense, even if honor points have significant benefits, they require high cultivation, another person chimed in, without contribution points now, you can't exchange for cultivation resources. How can one cultivate to a higher realm, so the point of glory is just a bone without flesh? Yixing panicked helplessly, saying, Huang Lao, I am only at the third level of the refined body realm now. To study at the divine sect, I have to reach the sea-breaking realm, which is still far beyond my reach. He pleaded, can you give me some contribution points in advance? I urgently need to exchange for the martial arts secret at the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion. Huang Lao became displeased and loudly pointed at Yi, little guy, don't be ignorant. I have said that only a genius can complete my task. If you succeed, I will treat you differently. How can you exchange for a worthless contribution points? He said sternly. It must be points of glory, non-negotiable unless you have a higher level star moon grass, like the rare level 4 star moon grass. If you can provide one, I will give you 1000 contribution points without hesitation, Yixing frowned and exclaimed, are you forcing me? He then reluctantly took out a level 4 star moon grass, muttering, I hate this. I only successfully upgraded one level 4 star moon grass. He barely had the chance to hold it before he had to hand it over, Huang Lao, in disbelief, rubbed his eyes as he stared at the large, glowing star moon grass in front of him. Trembling, he exclaimed, what? This, this is the legendary fourth tier star moon grass. He urgently asked, little guy, where did you get this fourth tier star moon grass? I've been searching behind the mountain for three years and could never find it, hearing this, Yixing angrily questioned, Huang Lao, that's not fair. You said there was absolutely no fourth tier star moon grass behind the mountain, yet you made me bring it to exchange for contribution points. Huang Lao, caught out, laughed heartily and pointed at him. Haha, <laughs> that's not important. What's important is that you managed to get the fourth tier star moon grass. You truly are remarkable, accepting tasks from me and showing such talent, at that moment, the sound of footsteps outside the door caught everyone's attention. The men exclaimed in surprise, huh? They couldn't hide their infatuation and began to cheer, Senior Sister Lu Yi Tong is here, Senior Sister Lu is so beautiful. It's a shame she's a disciple of Huang Pa Pai. Last night I dreamt of Senior Sister Lu, unfortunately Senior Sister Lu didn't say anything to me, the eyes of Yi Sheng and this girl named Lu met, in front of Yi Sheng at this moment was Lu Yi Tong, a graceful and beautiful girl with pink hair. Huang Lao saw her and called out, Disciple, come here quickly, the grade 4 star moon grass that we've been searching for three years, the master finally got it, Lu Yi Tong's face lit up with joy as she said, Master, really? I thought there was no grade 4 star moon grass left in the world. Huang Lao assured her to come closer and said, of course it's true, come see it here. As Lu Yi Tong approached, she was surprised, huh? Huang Lao looked at her and suddenly exclaimed in shock. Where is the grade 4 star moon grass? Where is my grade 4 star moon grass? Then he looked over at Yi Sheng who was hiding something behind his back and asked suspiciously in anger, little guy, there's only you here, did you take my grade 4 star moon grass? He pointed to himself and said, Huang Lao, what you're saying is not right, this grade 4 star moon grass was clearly picked by me behind the mountain. Just return the result, no explanation needed, nothing else. How could it be yours? Huang Lao aggressively reached out his hand, loudly demanding, nonsense, you didn't pick it for the mission to earn contribution points. Quickly give it to me, I'll give you 1000 contribution points. Yixing coldly replied, 
no, I won't. I regret it now, I won't hand over the mission, I want to keep this star moon grass for myself. Huan Lao, furious, slammed the table and yelled, well done, little guy, you dare to mock me. Yi Xing calmly retorted, Huang Lao, you're not right, you mocked me first. Unable to argue back, Huang Lao fell silent with a dark expression. Yi Xing took the star moon grass and walked away, teasing him, regardless, I don't like this grade 4 star moon grass. I'll feed it to the pigs. Infuriated, Huang Lao couldn't believe it and shouted, feed it to the pigs. Little guy, do you know how precious grade 4 star moon grass is? Fueled by anger, Huang Lao unleashed his powerful spiritual weapon and threatened, If you dare feed it to the pigs, I'll kill you. Give it to me. Yi Xing remained calm and said, No, I'm not giving it to you. I'm not doing this task anymore. Huang Lao burst into anger, his voice menacing, Little guy, you dare to mess with me, Huang Lao. Hand it over, or I'll take it by force. As he spoke, he activated his spiritual weapon, illuminating the area with a powerful gust of wind. Yi Sheng, unfazed, retorted, Huang Lao, stop joking. You're highly esteemed in the Evergreen Immortal Sect. With so many people watching, how can you attack a mere servant like me? If word gets out, people will laugh their heads off, turning his back and waving, Yi Sheng said, goodbye, Huang Lao. I have other matters to attend to. In an instant, the spiritual weapon's aura around Huang Lao disappeared. Admitting defeat, he hurriedly called out, Wait. Seeing Yi Xing pause, he snorted, Humph, stop pretending. Name your price, with a sly smile, Yi Xing turned and said, 100,000 contribution points. Huang Lao's face turned red with fury as he shouted, Get lost. Do you even understand what 100,000 contribution points mean? Seeing Yi Sheng's stunned expression, he explained, a regular disciple couldn't accumulate 100,000 contribution points in their lifetime. Even direct disciples of the various peaks struggle to gather that many points. Hearing this, Yi Sheng blushed and shyly rubbed his head, oh really? Then 50,000, Huang Lao shook his head in rebuttal, 50,000, 5,000 contribution points, plus 10 honor points, can't add any more. Yi Xing immediately exclaimed, Okay, he raised both hands and presented the star moon grass to him, respectfully saying, Huang Lao, please accept it, receiving the level 4 star moon grass root, Huang Lao sighed and said, Go away, hunting swans all your life. Finally got pecked in the eye, he silently vowed revenge against Yi Xing, I remember you. Just wait and see, Lu Tong standing beside witnessed and lightly chuckled, This junior brother is quite interesting. First time I see Master at a loss, Yi Sheng heard the laughter, looked in surprise, blushing he stepped forward and gently extended his hand in front of her saying, You are too beautiful, it seems like we've met before, let's get acquainted, I'm Yi Sheng, then smiled, as soon as he finished speaking, Huang Lao immediately threw the task card at him and scolded, Take your task card and go away, earn points for me, trying to flirt with my disciple, I'll skin you. Yi Sheng blushed, holding his points card awkwardly as he said to Lui Tong, senior sister, we meet again by fate. The onlookers who had witnessed this scene earlier looked at each other in disbelief, saying, did we see that right? Yi Xing arrogantly left amidst the buzzing discussions of everyone. Someone in the crowd exclaimed, junior brother is truly fierce, able to earn points from Huang Pa Pai, and even trap Huang Pa Pai with 5,000 points, how did he do that? He is truly a role model for us. Another person disagreed, saying, That scoundrel, this guy is deceitful, I can see another Huang Pa Pai rising up, everyone should stay away from him and be careful not to be deceived. In the eyes of everyone here, Yi Xing suddenly appeared fierce, cunning, and diabolical. Yi Xing returned to the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion and upon entering, he met Yang Lin. Yi Xing waved and said, Hello, young senior brother. Yang Lin leaned against a column with crossed arms and replied, Junior brother, it hasn't been long since you went to the contribution hall, are you so happy because you have earned enough 10 contribution points to enter the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion? 
Yixing proudly presented his task card in response. Of course, it's enough, Yang Lin said as he took the card. With ten contribution points, you can enter the lowest level. If junior brother wants to access higher levels of the library in the future, you can complete more tasks and spend additional contribution points to view higher level skills. Hearing this, Yi Sheng was curious and asked, Wait, Yang senior brother, how many contribution points are needed to access the highest level? Yang Lin replied, If you want to know, I'll tell you out of respect for the spiritual herb you gave earlier. To reach the middle level of the library, you need 100 contribution points. To get to the upper level, you need 1000 contribution points. He paused before continuing, as for the legendary top level of the library, you need 5000 contribution points. However, there's only one skill book there. Every year, wealthy and curious inside sect disciples exchange their points to enter the highest level, but they all return disappointed. But telling you this is pointless. I'll deduct 10 points first, go to the lowest level for now, Yang Lin reached out to stamp and deduct the points on the task card when Yi Xing stopped him, shouting, wait, senior brother, exchange it for access to the highest level of the library. Yang Lin froze as if he had been struck, uttering a stunned, huh. Yi Xing confidently continued. Yi Xing is a genius, geniuses naturally have to choose the best, most precious skills, can't let themselves be at a loss, Yang Lin raised his hand to kindly remind, junior brother, don't joke, that is the highest level that requires 5,000 contribution points, which you don't have, Yixing firmly replied, I have it, brother, just deduct it, Yang Lin disdainfully said, fine, if junior brother wants to show off, then I can only reveal it inadvertently, after speaking, he stamped the task card. At that moment, the card immediately lit up in a circle announcing, successfully deducted points. He exclaimed in astonishment, Oh my god, junior brother actually has 5,000 contribution points. Where did you get them from? Don't tell me you're just a miscellaneous disciple, even if you're an outside sect disciple, I have never seen anyone with 5,000 contribution points, moreover, junior brother is just doing a task. Yi Sheng confidently kept the task card and said, Yi Sheng wants to earn contribution points as easily as eating rice, drinking water, of course it's like turning a palm. Yang Lin worriedly warned him, Junior brother, although you have successfully exchanged it, but I heard that skill at. That high level is a bit strange. Countless arrogant disciples are all discouraged and turning back, you must be careful, Junior. Yi Sheng clasped his hands in agreement, saying, It's okay. Thank you senior brother for reminding me, at that moment, Yang Lin called out weakly, junior brother, Yi Xing responded, senior brother, what is it, Yang Lin hesitated before asking, can junior brother take me along on the next mission. He quickly got down on his knees and pleaded, my admiration for you, junior brother, is like a vast river. I am willing to be a follower for you, and when the time comes for you to earn mission points, you can just give me some leftovers, Yi Sheng, seeing him kneeling like that. Reluctantly agreed, saying, Senior brother, you don't need to act this way, I agree, he turned and walked inside, but he heard Yang Lin calling out again, Junior brother, Yi Sheng, less patient this time, asked, Senior brother, what else do you need? Yang Lin seemed to reconsider speaking but then sighed and said, Go on. The contribution points have already been deducted. Go up there, be careful, and if things aren't going well, come back down. Don't force yourself, Yi Sheng entered the large Tibetan Sutra pavilion and quietly murmured, so many books. It's a pity these low-level skills don't interest me, Yi Sheng muttered as he climbed to the upper level and looked down. He spoke out loud, so, this is the upper level of the library, Yi Sheng observed the vast upper floor for a while, then wondered to himself, but how do I get to the top level of the library? It seems there's no path to the roof here, he approached a nearby person and asked, excuse me, senior brother, do you know how to get to the top level of the library? The person turned to look at him, frowned, and said, the top level of the library. Are you crazy? Get out of the way, Yi Sheng was puzzled and taken aback. He then went to ask another person who was sitting and reading. Senior brother, can you tell me how to get to the top level of the library, this person also sneered and replied, you're out of your mind, 
seeing the attitudes of these two people, Yixing felt strange and thought to himself, what is going on? At that moment, a voice behind him spoke, Junior brother, are you also looking to get to the top level of the library? Yixing turned around, looked at the man who had spoken, and said, huh? Then he answered, yes, I am. And you are, the man responded, allow me to introduce myself, I am Jiang Yunfeng. A disciple from Ziyun Peak. Today, I also want to reach the top level of the library. Since we are destined to meet, we could travel together and look out for each other along the way. Yixing clasped his hands in a respectful gesture and introduced himself, I'm a servant disciple from the refined pill room, Yixing. Inside, he was mulling over Jiang Yunfeng's words, feeling a mix of alarm and confusion. He thought, travel companions, looking out for each other. What's going on? I'm not going on a journey, I just want to reach the top level of the library, Jiang Yunfeng gestured invitingly and spoke, Yi Junior brother, come with me, won't you? With that, Jiang Yunfeng led the way. He walked to a massive stone slab in the middle of the room and suddenly stopped, startling Yi Sheng. In a serious tone, he said, Yi Junior brother, this stone slab is the passage to the top level of the library. Yi Sheng looked at the towering stone slab standing proudly in the room, unable to believe it. He stammered, Jiang Senior Brother, you're not joking with me, are you? Jiang Yunfeng opened his fan slightly, tilted his head, and looked at Yi Sheng, reaching the top level of the library is a serious matter, even life threatening. How could I joke about that? Now, Yi Sheng walked around the stone slab, then spoke. Junior Brother, I think my eyes might be failing me. Where is the library, and how do we get there? Jiang Yunfeng pointed his fan at the stone slab and said loudly, Touch it. Seeing Yi Xing still standing there, bewildered, he explained, The top level library is not a real library. It's an illusory space hidden within the stone slab right in front of you. If you have the destiny, you'll be able to enter. Curious, Yi Xing asked, What if I don't have the destiny? Jiang Yunfeng responded coldly, Then you will meet a bloody end. This answer immediately petrified Yi Sheng, the space fell silent until a few people suddenly appeared. One of them, with bright golden hair, smirked and spoke up, Jiang Yunfeng, are you trying to trick someone else into smashing their head against a stone? Yi Sheng quietly said, huh, and turned around at the same time as Jiang Yunfeng. Jiang Yunfeng looked at the speaker with disdain and pointed at him, saying in a harsh tone, Pang Guang, what are you doing here? Why do I see you everywhere, Pang Guang mocked Jiang Yunfeng, what am I doing here? Of course, I'm here to watch your ridiculous antics. Then he turned to Yi Sheng and warned. The foolish name, do not listen to Jiang Yunfeng's lie, it's not easy to reach the top floor of any library like that. I admit that there are people who have reached the highest level of the library, but in the past three years, no one knows how many disciples have been lost here, some with broken skulls, brains pouring out, no one can go up there, Jiang Yunfeng immediately refuted Pang Guang moderately, the top floor of the library for evergreen immortal sect disciples is a symbol of fate. Yi Junior brother has spent 5,000 points to buy this precious opportunity, how can he easily give up because of your words? Pang Guang laughed mockingly at the foolish little guy, telling him that Jiang Yunfeng is instigating him to run into the wall because he is jealous of entering Master Peak Qin Yun Peak has become mad Zhou Lin Lang. He must think carefully, not to let Jiang Yunfeng turn him into his pawn, upon hearing this, Yi Xing immediately turned to ask Jiang Yunfeng if Master Peak Qin Yun Peak is truly inside there. He pondered that he could enter Evergreen Immortal Sect because of Zhou Lin Lang. Calculating, Zhou Master Peak will definitely be my solid foundation in this evergreen immortal sect, just didn't expect that even someone as immortal as Yi would go crazy. Jiang Yunfeng pondered for a moment and explained, Yi Junior Brother, I am actually a disciple of Zi Yun Master Peak, tasked with delivering an item to Zhou Master Peak. However, I have no intention of taking advantage of Yi Junior Brother, the library peak is the personal opportunity of each disciple, Junior Brother can decide for himself. On the other side, Pang Guang continued to babble, little guy, you basically can't make it to the library peak, you will definitely end up like those fools and leave quickly. Yi Sheng, unfazed, asked him, 
Urinator senior brother, if I am willing to give up, can senior brother return these 5,000 accumulated points to me? Hang Guang narrowed his eyes and angrily retorted, Are you crazy? Why should I return them to you? He paused, huh, then shouted, Wait a minute, what did your little guy just call me? Urinator senior brother. Yixing chuckled and rubbed his head, saying, Oh, sorry, mentioning Pang Guang makes me think of going to the bathroom, he explained with a shrug. Seeing you so cheerful, Pang Guang, I thought you might be returning my accumulated points, Yixing said. Pang Guang glared at him and shouted, You're dreaming too beautifully. He continued, I'm just giving you a heads up since you're so naive. Jiang Yinfeng, who had been silent, spoke up to explain, Junior Brother Yi, ignore him. Pang Guang is a disciple of Black Cloud Peak. The reason he's trying to stop people from entering the top level library is actually because he's afraid that if a disciple succeeds, they might bring back Zhou, the peak master, who has gone mad, from the uppermost library. Black Cloud Peak is about to swallow up Qin Yun Peak of Zhou, and if the peak master doesn't show up or remains mad, it's a done deal for Black Cloud Peak to take over Qin Yun Peak. Pausing for a moment, Jiang Yun Feng continued, To be honest, my master and Zhou Peak Master have been good friends for many years. My master can't bear to see Qin Yun Peak, which Zhou Peak Master has managed for so long, fall into the hands of Black Cloud Peak. That's why he ordered me to enter the top level library and find Zhou Peak Master to explain the situation. He sighed, Unfortunately, my own abilities are too limited, and I've never been able to reach the top level library. Yi Xing listened intently to the entire story, folding his arms and frowning as he thought to himself, What a complicated situation. Qin Yun Peak, Zi Yun Peak, and Black Cloud Peak, your competition is your own business. If my support is gone, then it's gone. Losing just 5,000 points is absolutely unbearable, he gritted his teeth in anger and thought to himself, Yi Sheng, I will not suffer such a loss. I must find a way to reclaim those 5,000 points. Pang Guang stood beside him and continued to mock, Haha, overestimating yourself, a toad trying to eat swan meat. The peak library is not a place where fools like you can enter. The disciples around echoed, beat him, kill him to teach him a lesson. Today is going to be a good show, the people at Tibetan Sutra Pavilion gathered and discussed loudly, this fool actively wants to break the twelfth stone tablet this year? The person next to him added. Using five thousand points to break a stone tablet, is it not better to buy a spiritual chicken soup? Buying beautiful treasures to pursue the little sister is not good. Ignoring the words of those people, Yi Sheng stepped closer to the stone tablet, touching it with his hand, he pondered, if this stone tablet is the entrance to the highest floor of the library, then there must be a way to unlock this door. Pang Guang said, no one has succeeded in entering the highest floor of the library in the past three years. Only Zhou Lin Lang is in seclusion there, demonstrating that three years ago Zhou Lin Lang successfully advanced to the highest level of the library, through some methods, the only connection between him and Zhou Lin Lang is the Chang Qin command that Zhou Lin Lang initially gave to Valley of the Wicked. Yi Sheng looked at the token in his hand silently determined that the only way to come to this place was to hold the Chang Qin command, with a contribution of 5,000 points. Then he rushed forward to the astonishment of the crowd, the horrified people started to panic, saying that he was too reckless, someone suddenly shouted out, look at that guy over there, it seems like he used his buttocks to bump into the stone tablet. Yi Sheng quickly ran back, using the back of his body to hit the stone tablet hard, thinking to himself that it was do or die at this moment, if successful, he would enter the library, if failed, his buttocks would hurt. At this moment, as soon as his buttocks touched the stone tablet, the Chang Qin command shone brightly, a deep bottomless pit appeared on the tablet gradually sucking him in, he joyfully exclaimed, success. The crowd stared in amazement at him stammering like that, and yet he still managed to enter, just as he was about to be sucked in completely, he defiantly raised his middle finger to mock them. A bunch of ignorant scum, Yi Sheng is truly a legend, can even use his butt to sit on the top of the library haha, all blinked as they watched that hole gradually disappear, 
Hang Guang couldn't believe it and exclaimed in shock, huh? Did he really go in, the rest of the people there kept gossiping and cursing, such a useless person, he actually entered the highest floor of the library, damn it, how could they let this useless person enter the highest floor of the library? It's really shameful, someone sat crouched, chin resting on hand pondering, you guys tell me, can using the butt to bump against that thing really get you in? If not, I have to find someone else to borrow points and try bumping with my butt. After being sucked into that hole, Yi Xing traversed into a different space, he fell from above, startled he cursed, then immediately fell heavily onto the ground, pressing down on someone, causing that person to painfully widen their eyes, he opened his eyes and sat up with a sigh, lucky, didn't hurt much when falling, at that moment an angry voice rang out, quickly get up, you may not be hurt but you broke this old man's back by crushing him. Yi Xing asked in amazement, so there are people down here too, immediately, he stood up and asked, isn't this Zhou Lin Lang, he stood up angrily and questioned, did you not see anyone when you fell down, Yi Xing shrugged and said, I didn't see anyone, my but descended first, he got angry and scolded, what nonsense is this? How could the but descend first, Yi Xing smiled and asked him, are you master peak Zhou Lin Lang, Zhou Lin Lang replied, yes, and then looked at him puzzled, who are you? He looked at him and said, the restriction for the top floor library was broken three years ago. No one else can enter except me. How did you manage to come in? Yi Sheng laughed and showed the evergreen token, I am Yi Sheng, and this token in my hand allows me to enter here. I come from Valley of the Wicked, and this token was left to me by someone from there, Zhou Lin Lang looked at the token and remembered, so this is the item. Above it contains the celestial essence of me, Truly can find my sword Qi to open the library on the top floor, but you always call me uncle, your face is quite thick, isn't it? Yi Xing began to flatter happily, saying, Uncle Zhou, the first time I met you, I felt very close, as if I had met my father, he said as he raised the token, I have your Chang Qin command, I can go up to the top floor, this is not shameless, this is fate with you, uh, Yi Xing went on to say, furthermore, this time I entered here with a very important task, which is to tell uncle that your Qinyin Peak has been annexed by Black Cloud Peak, Master Jiang Peak has ordered me to come here. Quickly, he continued to show himself and said. To do this, I truly risk my own life, but if it's uncle's business, even if I lose my life, it doesn't matter, Yixin cannot retreat, Zhou Lin Lang heard him talking and felt a headache, he folded his arms and frowned saying, Evergreen Immortal Sect has not had such shameless disciples like you for a long time. If you have already entered here, go find your own opportunities. I still have things to do, he said, turning and waving his hand. As for Black Cloud Peak swallowing Qin Yin Peak, let it be. Black Cloud Peak doesn't have that capability. Yi Sheng watched his figure gradually disappear into the distance, then joyfully said, Yes, uncle, take care, without Zhou Lin going crazy, I've really found a treasure, proving that in Chang Qing immortal sect, I've truly found a reliable mountain to lean on. This is awesome. Yi Sheng stood around for a while, feeling puzzled and muttering, finding my own opportunities. This place is barren, what opportunities could there be? He sighed in disappointment. Where are the high-level skills that were mentioned? Is it just a pile of broken stones? After some time, Yi Xing discovered a large and majestic stone steel at the foot of the mountain. He wondered aloud, What is this? As he pondered, a voice suddenly spoke behind him. Zhou Lin Lang said, This is the no word steel, said to be a part of the heavenly book that transformed. But I have been here comprehending it for three years and still gained nothing. Each beast here is very powerful with them around, it's impossible to cross the Huang Quan battlefield, Zhou Lin Lang said. Yi Sheng then asked, will the demonic tribes invade again? Zhou Lin Lang responded, I don't know. There is a strong possibility they will rise again. That's also the reason I'm scouting here, hearing this, Yi Sheng looked up and asked, all right, Zhou uncle, can I ask you a question? Zhou Lin Lang nodded slightly and replied, go ahead. Yi Xing continued, they say the top-level library has high-level skills. I spent 5,000 contribution points to get in here, 
so where are the skills? Yi Sheng, growing increasingly frustrated, added, if there are none. Doesn't that mean I've wasted those 5,000 points, Zhou Lin Lang, exasperated, shouted, Yi Sheng, I'm discussing matters of life and death for human cultivators, a profoundly shocking historical issue with you, his face darkening as he said, and you're talking to me about 5,000 contribution points. Yi Sheng immediately retorted, Uncle, that's not right. I'm discussing seriously about the 5,000 contribution points, while you're talking to me about the survival of humanity. Each beast here is very powerful, with them around, it's impossible to cross the Huang Quan battlefield, Zhou Lin Lang said. Yi Sheng then asked, Will the demonic tribes invade again? Zhou Lin Lang responded, I don't know. There is a strong possibility they will rise again. That's also the reason I'm scouting here. Hearing this, Yi Sheng looked up and asked, All right, Zhou Uncle, can I ask you a question? Zhou Lin Lang nodded slightly and replied, Go ahead. Yi Xing continued, They say the top level library has high level skills. I spent 5,000 contribution points to get in here, so where are the skills? Yi Sheng, growing increasingly frustrated, added, If there are none. Doesn't that mean I've wasted those 5,000 points? Zhou Lin Lang, exasperated, shouted, Yi Sheng, I'm discussing matters of life and death for human cultivators, a profoundly shocking historical issue with you, his face darkening as he said, and you're talking to me about 5,000 contribution points. Yi Sheng immediately retorted, Uncle, that's not right. I'm discussing seriously about the 5,000 contribution points, while you're talking to me about the survival of humanity. Zhou Lin Lang stared speechlessly for a moment, then finally said, exasperated, you are absolutely a genius. Pointing at the steel, he continued, want skills. Go comprehend the no-word steel. Whether you can grasp anything depends on your magical abilities. Yi Xing stared intently at the no-word steel, muttering, to get skills, I still have to comprehend this. Is this library's top floor just a scam? Three days later, Yi Sheng, exhausted, sat there dejectedly. He said, It's been three days, and the steel is still just a steel. I haven't comprehended anything at all. It's really just a trap. Zhou Lin Lang walked over calmly and said, Little guy, not comprehending anything is normal. Before you, countless people have tried to comprehend this steel, but none succeeded. I have to leave now. Do you want to come with me, gritting his teeth, Yi Xing resolutely refused, I'm not leaving. I won't come out until I earn back those 5,000 contribution points. Zhou Lin Lang turned around, and just before leaving, he kindly informed him, then take care of yourself. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the library's top floor can be entered at any time, but the exit only opens once every six months. He heard that and thought to himself that if he missed this opportunity, he would have to wait for another six months for a new chance. Feeling uneasy, he quickly turned around and shouted, Wait, uncle, wait, as he followed the man outside, Zhou Lin Lang raised an eyebrow teasingly, Why? Do you think you're already enlightened and don't need to contribute 5,000 points anymore? Yi Xing gritted his teeth in resentment, feeling cheated out of his 5,000 contribution points. How could he think he was enlightened? This was the first time in Yi Sheng's life that he had suffered a loss, a great humiliation, he turned back to the no word steel and said, even if I couldn't get anything. I'll leave something here. He then took a pen and eagerly drew on the steel, vowing to repay this humiliation one day, Zhou Lin Lang stood there watching Yi Sheng's actions, speechless, wondering how this little guy had grown up in such circumstances to have such a temperament. He looked at him with eyes full of energy and determination, continuously assessing his unyielding character that had already penetrated deep into his bones, unsure if his cultivation path was good or bad. As Zhou Lin Lang finished his thoughts, Yi Sheng had already written his name in bright red on the steel. At this moment, the stone steel suddenly moved and emitted a dazzling light, releasing a surge of spiritual energy, which surprised Zhou Lin Lang exclaimed, This is unexpected. Yixing also gasped in astonishment. Zhou Lin Lang widened his eyes and said, This is the no-word steel reacting, 
the spiritual energy of the no-word steel surged for a moment and then gradually disappeared, revealing written characters on the stone steel. Yi Xing stepped closer and exclaimed, There are words on the stone steel, as each character appeared clearly. Yi Xing muttered, This is, before the characters flew into his head one by one, leaving him amazed and terrified. He took a few steps back, fell to the ground, and frowned uncomfortably, saying, Oh, my head feels tense, what is going on in the end? He clumsily sat up, rubbed his head, and asked Zhou Lin Lang, Uncle, when the words flew into someone like that, does it mean they have obtained the Pinnacle Skill Library? Zhou Lin Lang pondered for a moment before replying, Yes, you have achieved it, and furthermore, it is a unique skill, a set only passed down to one person, it can be said that the little guy is fortunate. Yi Xing stood up, brushed the sand off himself, and opened his mouth, saying, Uncle, what you said is not correct. He then confidently praised himself, saying, I am exceptionally talented. Even the no-word steel has been tamed by me. I am a genius. Zhou Lin Lang grimaced, raised his thumb in mock praise, and sneered, You, truly a shameless genius, Yi Sheng, curious, asked, Uncle, what is a special skill? Is it referring to extraordinary skills? Zhou Lin Lang explained, Special skills are those that are specifically passed down to an individual, special talents or techniques that can only be cultivated by certain people. They can be good or bad, righteous or evil. Low-level martial arts or high-level supreme techniques. What you achieve depends on your own cultivation and understanding. Outside the top floor of the Tibetan Sutra Pavilion's library, a man named Pang Guang spoke up, Jiang Yin Feng, I advise you not to wait any longer. Entering the top library is just a stroke of luck. He may not be able to enter, or he might have died inside. But he didn't know, the little guy Yi Sheng he was talking about was currently fast asleep. Pang Guang continued to mock, after so many years, Zhou Master Peak is probably still too scared to come out. As soon as he finished speaking, Jiang Yun Feng couldn't help but shout out, Pang Guang, my waiting here has nothing to do with you. If you're in such a hurry, why not let the two of us duel and see if I can make you lose a tooth? Pang Guang pointed at Jiang Yun Feng and sneered, Ha ha ha, Jiang Yun Feng, I just love seeing you angry, your appearance can't do anything to me. I'll tell you the truth, Black Cloud Peak Master Peak will arrive at Qin Yun Peak very soon today. Unaware of the wall behind him emitting light. He kept rambling on, from now on, this Qin Yun Peak will be renamed to Black Cloud Peak. Suddenly, the wall twisted into circular shapes, and two figures flew out from it. Yixing fell directly onto Pang Guang, while Zhou Lin Lang landed safely on the ground. Jiang Yun Feng happily exclaimed, Zhou Master Peak, you're out. Yixing got up cheerfully and said, Still good, still good, this time I didn't hurt at all, Pang Guang lay on the ground in anger, shouting, Get up and help me, you may not be hurt, but you're about to break my back. As Yi Sheng stood up, he groaned and crawled up, saying, Oh, my back. Jiang Yun Feng quickly said to Zhou Lin Lang, Zhou Master Peak, Black Cloud Peak wants to come to Qin Yun Peak today, I hope Zhou Master Peak will return to deal with the situation as soon as possible. Zhou Lin Lang's face became gloomy, but he immediately became excited and laughed, Aha, sure, Qin Yun Peak, Black Cloud Peak fighting is the most fun, I want to fight. Jiang Yun Feng was surprised, Yi Xin glanced and thought quietly. What's going on? Has Zhou Master Peak suddenly become foolish outside, is this intentional? He disappeared quickly, with only his voice echoing in the wind, Come, let's go fight, win and have candy afterwards. Watching him run off, Jiang Yun Feng sighed regretfully, in the end, Zhou Master Peak is still crazy without any positive change, the ancient legacy of Qin Yun will soon be erased from Chang Qin Immortal Sect. Finally, Yi Sheng returned to the alchemy room. Seeing him come back, Huang Xiao Jian happily exclaimed, Little junior brother is finally back, Ji De Quan walked over to pat his shoulder and said, Little junior brother, I can see you have lost weight over the past few days, have you reached the peak of your skills, little junior brother? 
Yi Sheng, surrounded by humble senior brothers, replied, Thank you for your concern, senior brothers. I am not very talented, but I have obtained a unique celestial scripture at the peak of the library. Huang Xiao Jian praised him with bright eyes, the peak of the library, little junior brother is truly amazing, Yi Sheng felt warm and smiled, quietly saying to himself, still the close senior brothers of the alchemy room. Ji De Quan held his hand and led everyone into the room enthusiastically, saying, let's go celebrate, we're not coming back sober today. Suddenly, a beam of light appeared in the sky, moving very fast, Ji De Quan looked up and mumbled, what is that? Yi Sheng looked up and his eyes widened in amazement as he softly exclaimed, what is this? A senior brother stood arrogantly with a sword in hand and commanded, all servants of the alchemy room and disciples, listen to my command. The ascended level exam outside sect will start in three days. He stood in front of the other disciples, raised his hand and said, Junior brothers, prepare well for the outside sect exam, if you pass, you can become official disciples of certain mountain peak. Ji De Quan, with a serious expression, looked at him, then touched his face and said, So it's the outside sect exam, I thought it was something else. Huang Xiao Jian also boredly said, Let's just go drink. Why bother with the outside sect exam? Ji De Quan shook his finger and replied, No, I don't want to, I want to be a disciple in the alchemy room for life. Yi Sheng, hearing this, widened his eyes in surprise, then followed the two of them. But at this moment the senior brother behind called out, Junior brothers. He raised his hand and added, Regarding the outside sect exam, Master Jiang Peak has already mentioned it, other miscellaneous disciples can ignore it, but those in the alchemy room should pay attention. He raised three fingers and continued, I also want at least three people to become outside sect disciples, otherwise all the disciples of the miscellaneous room will be promoted to outside sect disciples. The three of them were shocked to hear this. Ji De Quan pointed at him with a blackened face and asked sternly, What is the purpose of this? Even if you don't want to be an outer disciple, you're not allowed. He was angry to the point of red eyes, pointing stubbornly behind him, I don't have this ambition, just want to be a miscellaneous disciple, what's the problem? Do you want people to live or not? Does this make sense? How can you be so harsh to a miscellaneous disciple? The senior brother saw him so resolute that he sweated lightly, puzzled, other miscellaneous disciples dream of being outer disciples. He looked at the three of them, two of whom were already crazy, then continued, only the alchemy room is an exception. Telling them to become outer disciples is like taking their lives, transitioning, the three Yixing entered a restaurant, Wang Xiao Jian stood up and said to everyone, here, brothers, it seems like the decision has been made above. Ji De Quan held a glass of wine with a frustrated face and said, they want to demote us from alchemy room disciples to peak disciples. Huang Xiao Jian raised his glass and took a sip, saying, At this point, we can only act according to the situation. Yi Sheng was gnawing on a chicken leg, puzzlingly asking, Are you plotting something devious? An arm touched the door and pushed it open, Ji De Quan went in first, followed by the others. He raised his hand jubilantly and said, Brothers, come and eat. He looked at the spiritual herbs on the shelf and said, Eat as much as you can before entering the outside sect. Ji De Quan pointed forward with enthusiasm, saying loudly to Yi Sheng, Eat as much as you want as long as you don't die of being full. Suddenly, Ji De Quan put his hand on Yi Sheng's shoulder and asked, What's wrong, little junior brother? His expression was unreadable, as he looked deeply into him and asked. Feeling pressure, Yi Sheng rubbed his stomach, with sweat on his face, and replied, A little bit, mainly because I just ate. He then looked straight at the shelf of spiritual herbs and said, But I can give it a try. Ji De Quan stepped forward and said, All right, let's feast. Now, in front of them were countless nutritious and fresh spiritual herbs waiting to be eaten. Ji De Quan wasted no time and loudly sucked in the spiritual herb in front of him, causing the rest to be sucked in by the vortex and flew into his mouth. He ate until he was swollen like a ball, then flew up, making Yi Sheng's eyes widen. Yi Sheng stopped in amazement, damn, he muttered to himself, does senior brother Ji De Quan have this unique skill too, 
Wang Xiaojian at this point also flew up with interest saying, I'm coming too, he squinted, a green spiritual weapon emitted from his body, followed by spiritual herbs also flying up with his suction force, converging into a round spiritual weapon in mid-air, also Huang Xiaojian. Yi Sheng looked up excitedly pointing at it saying, Senior brother De Quan, what's wrong with senior brother Xiao Jian? Ji De Quan placed his hand on his shoulder from behind saying, Don't worry, this is Huang Xiao Jian's unique technique. In two days the eggshell will hatch, then the eggshell formed by spiritual grass will be almost absorbed. Ji De Quan with his body about to turn into a mobile caterpillar pointed ahead saying, Little junior brother, hurry up, after today there won't be delicious food like this anymore, Yi Xing smiled and replied, okay, but inwardly he sighed, the disciples of the alchemy room are indeed all talents, easy to talk to, I didn't expect to leave this place. Yi Xing sat down with the pile of spiritual herbs in front of him. The face looked somewhat puzzled holding a mushroom in hand, thinking it's not right, we don't have the courage of Ji De Quan and Huang Xiao Jian, senior brother, do we? He slowly puts the mushroom into his mouth and says, Just eat it, how much can we eat in these three days? Yi Xing clasps his hands in meditation, thinking to let it go, still pondering how to absorb the heavenly scripture skill at the top of the library. Yi Xing's body emits a spiritual weapon, and after a while, he unexpectedly falls into his own divine consciousness. He stands up, looking puzzled for a while, then looks around and wonders where he is. Then he looks forward and sees a floating word. Yixing approaches to read the word in front of him. Unable to understand its meaning. After a moment, he senses something, realizing that the no word steel skill is advancing into his body, forming a total of nine words. He scratches his chin, squinting his eyes as he calculates that he can only see one word clearly now. How can I cultivate the remaining words? Yixing opens his eyes his face wrinkled as he contemplates the word, then takes a step forward to dig it out. Is this skill a bit excessive? Yi Sheng is now at a loss for words, looking surprised. He looked at the cauldron in front of him emitting a stream of spiritual weapons surrounding it, then stood up excitedly and exclaimed loudly, my burial tripod has appeared. But suddenly, the word excavate flew into the burial tripod, causing Yi Sheng to be even more startled could it be related to the word excavate? The burial tripod then heated up and emanated even more spiritual weapons, with fantastical smoke swirling at its feet, making Yixing sweat with suspicion, could this be the old man's skill, bringing out the buried things? The burial tripod suddenly flew up again, leaving Yi puzzled, as spirit flames erupted from its peak, causing Yixing to step back, his face showing discomfort as he asked. What is going on? By now, the spiritual herbs had been surrounded and sucked into the burial tripod by its spiritual weapon stream, leaving Yi Xing bewildered, are all the spiritual herbs being sucked into the burial tripod? The spiritual herbs flew up high and from all directions into the burial tripod, leaving Yi Xing on the verge of panic, holding his head, his eyes fierce with redness, his face pale as he exclaimed, what on earth is it doing? The burial tripod began to shoot out spiritual weapons, causing Yi Sheng to pause, then incorporating them into his body, he wiped the sweat from his forehead lightly and exclaimed, it's getting faster and faster. The burial tripod emitted rays of light, sucking in more spiritual herbs at a rapid speed. Yi Sheng was amazed and couldn't help but say, it's absorbing everything. At that moment, a disciple behind him held up a mushroom to eat, but before he could take a bite, the mushroom flew away, making him surprised. He exclaimed, hey, that's my mushroom. He looked over to see Yixing standing next to the burial tripod, sucking in his mushroom. He looked at her with a puzzled expression. Yixing wiped away sweat, furrowed his brows, and anxiously said, it's over, this cauldron is expanding more and more every day, isn't it trying to swallow the entire treasure of the alchemy room? Ji De Quan and Huang Xiao Jian ran over with a mouthful of spiritual herbs. Calling out to Yi Sheng loudly. Ji De Quan's face turned pale as he asked, Why is it like this? Yi Sheng turned and anxiously called out, Senior brother. I don't know either, this cauldron has gone crazy. The two looked up at the burial tripod, 
which was continuously absorbing spiritual herbs, causing chaos in the alchemy room. From outside the alchemy room, screams could be heard, Mother, that's the spirit snake grass of Jiang Master Peak. The two spirit snake grass leaves flew out of the box and into the burial tripod. Ji De Quan sat on a chest, trying to hold it but was also lifted up and opened to take out the spiritual herb inside, making him surprised and say, impossible. He looked solemnly at the two juniors and called out, Junior brothers, the items in this chest are all precious belongings of Feng Elder, absolutely not to be mistaken, <laughs> Yi Sheng and Huang Xiao Jian stood still, then disciplined the unlucky disciple who was not allowed to eat that spiritual herb, while one sat on a chest, Ji De Quan used his strength to press it down and said loudly, Stop this chest. The burial tripod flew high, causing Yi Sheng to grimace and say, Hurry up. We won't be able to withstand much longer, the chest under the four people's buttocks began to crack, then they all flew, taking out the spiritual herb inside, the rare spiritual herbs turned into spiritual weapons flying into the burning burial tripod, the power was increasing day by day, the spiritual energy was gradually dissipating. All three Yi Sheng, Ji De Quan and Huang Xiao Jian were lying on the ground, Ji De Quan lying there rubbing his head angrily saying, I'm in pain to death. The senior brother glanced around and asked, Is it over? Is it over? Ji De Quan, looking at Yi Sheng who was worriedly bowing his head, replied, Not only the ordinary spiritual herbs, but all the elixirs have been devoured by the burial tripod. Ji De Quan's face turned pale with fear as he continued, Even the precious spiritual herbs and miraculous medicines of the Master Peaks are gone. This time, we're in big trouble, at that moment, the burial tripod emitted a faint light, catching Yi Sheng's attention. He looked at it, a bit puzzled, and let out a, huh. Then, something emerged from the burial tripod. Yi Sheng saw it and thought, it's appearing. Before he could react, it suddenly flew straight into his forehead. Causing him to stumble back a few steps as the light affected him, countless characters appeared in Yi Sheng's mind, and he opened his eyes in confusion, thinking, what is this? Scratching his head, he wondered, is this some kind of alchemical formula? It felt as though the characters were entering his Dantian, and Yixing thought, this formula has absorbed all the spiritual herbs of the alchemy room. Is it trying to take human form, as he stood there grinning smugly, a sudden call for the wretched heavenly lord left him bewildered and confused. An old man appeared, looking at Yixing with a cold gaze. Yi Sheng hesitated and asked, Who are you, celestial being? The old man looked at him with a hint of sadness in his eyes and said, I have always gone against the norms of ordinary people. I consider retreat before advancing, escape before starting a fight, not confronting head-on but attacking from the side, and never revealing myself when launching a sneak attack. As he spoke, he smiled proudly and said, That's why people call me Wretched Heavenly Lord. Yi Sheng listened intently to the name Wretched Heavenly Lord, Wretched Heavenly Lord continued to boast about himself, pointing at himself and saying, But how can mortals understand my ways? He then pointed at Yi Sheng enthusiastically and said, I have waited for so long, and finally, I have found someone who resonates with my beliefs. Wretched Heavenly Lord handed over a spiritual weapon sphere, saying, The essence of my great Tao lies in the nine words in front of you. Practice well, don't make me lose face. Yi Sheng stroked his chin, still thinking about the name, Wretched that Wretched Heavenly Lord had mentioned, this name didn't sound very majestic or cultivating at all, right? Wretched Heavenly Lord sneered and said that there would be someone to succeed the old Wretched, which made him very happy. In the face of Yi Sheng's judgmental gaze, Wretched Heavenly Lord said that they would soon part ways, and he gifted Yi Sheng six words of wisdom to use for the rest of his life. Yi Sheng listened attentively and asked him to continue. Wretched Heavenly Lord then said, Desire separates mortals and immortals. Yi Sheng stood still upon hearing these six words, as Wretched Heavenly Lord continued to solemnly explain that these words were the essence of the great Tao. And he should remember them well. As Wretched Heavenly Lord was about to leave, he warned Yi Sheng that he was now just a remnant soul, and they would meet again someday, reminding him to remember the words of wisdom. 
wretched heavenly lord gradually disappeared, laughing as he added that the great battle for supremacy had officially begun, and he had committed many sins in the past. Outside Ji De Quan saw Yi Xing standing there calling out, Little junior brother, don't just stand there, in their hands, Ji De Quan and Huang Xiao Jian both carried personal belongings, Ji De Quan said, hurry up and let's go, Yi Sheng, suddenly awakening from his state of shock, turned to Ji De Quan and asked, senior brother, why are you here, Huang Xiao Jian added, hurry and run, we have caused a big disaster, the alchemy room is completely destroyed, Ji De Quan. Sweating, said, Zhu Feng Elder will surely be furious, quickly run away, Yi Xing asked, where can we run to, Ji De Quan grabbed Yi Xing's hand and said, if we can't stay in the alchemy room. The only option is to participate in the disciple recruitment exam of the outside sect. Only by becoming a disciple of the top disciple can we have a place to stay in Evergreen Immortal Sect, Yi Xing asked Ji De Quan, where do we go to participate in the exam, Ji De Quan, with a worried expression, then told Yi Sheng. The biggest motivation right now is Black Cloud Peak, a few days ago they almost conquered Qinyan Peak, but at the critical moment Zhou Master Peak suddenly returned, Black Cloud Peak became the only force to have two peaks. Huang Xiao Jian remembered Ziyun Peak and said, I think Ziyun Peak is not bad. He blushed as he remembered Jiang Yu Ran saying, Jiang Yu Ran, Jiang Master Peak is not only beautiful, but also powerful, and very dedicated to teaching disciples. A disciple said, go to Qiyun Peak, most of the disciples there are from prestigious families, you can make many connections. Ji De Quan asked Yi Sheng, little junior brother, what do you think? Yi Sheng smiled and replied, I think we should go to Qinyan Peak. Ji De Quan and Huang Xiao Jian were surprised and said, what? Yi Sheng said seriously, Zhou uncle is my greatest support, now that I know he's just pretending to be sick, I decide to go to Qinyan Peak. Ji De Quan, still in disbelief, asked Yi Sheng again, little junior brother, are you joking? Zhou Lin Lang of Qinyan Peak, the master peak, has been ill for over ten years. No one has registered to take the exam at Qinyan Peak for all that time. People continued to move about quietly as Ji De Quan continued to explain, on the contrary, all the old disciples of Qinyan Peak have already dispersed, that's right, little junior brother, Qinyan Peak is now completely weakened. There are no disciples left there, the entire Qinyan Peak is like a ghost town. At this point, Yi Xing suddenly became eager and quickly interjected, Senior brother, don't be hasty, listen to my analysis first. He then began to elaborate, Qinyan Peak is indeed as you say, the Master Peak is ill, and the disciples have all scattered. But this actually works in our favor, hearing this, everyone was taken aback and asked in unison, in our favor? Yi Xing confidently pointed to himself with a thumb and said loudly, Who are we? We are the disciples of the alchemy room, free and unfettered. Once we go to Qinyan Peak, if Master Peak Zhou doesn't manage us, wouldn't the entire mountain peak be ours? Like when in the alchemy room, we can do whatever we want, right? And no one controls us, all the resources on the mountain belong to us, the resources of the entire Qinyan Peak compared to the ten alchemy rooms are absolutely no less, after listening to Yi Sheng's explanation. The group was led away slowly, inevitably reflecting on life, on resources, Ji De Quan only listened and drooled, at this point Yi Sheng approached him again and continued to attack, don't the senior brothers want to experience the feeling of being the king of the mountain, dot. Indeed, shortly thereafter Ji De Quan was completely tempted, he patted Yi Sheng's back insightfully and exclaimed, little junior brother is right. Let's go to Qinyan Peak. Evergreen Immortal Sect Spiritual Weapon Soaring, White Clouds Drifting, in front of the large stone gate separating the crowded people outside from the inside, with the expectation of many people, a voice rang out, Hey Junior Brothers, Junior Sisters. During the examination, countless people flocked to participate, at this time Yi Xing's group also proudly advanced. Above the large gate, the senior brother stood in front and spoke loudly. Welcome all to Evergreen Immortal Sect to join the outside sect exam. He pointed to the gate behind and continued, the first level is to pass through this stone gate in front of you. The senior brother started to explain in more detail, 
with a limit of 300 people at the first level, the first 300 to pass can move on to the next level. The Yixing group below listened intently, determination clear on their faces. The senior brother summoned three shimmering balls in his hand, then explained that after passing through the stone gate, one must obtain three artifacts to get the next token. These tan jade balls will always hover nearby, moving quickly and unpredictably. Your task is to grab one jade ball to enter the stone gate ahead. Leading to the second round of the exam. With a serious expression, he threw the three balls and said, All right, outside sect exam disciples, as those balls fly over you, the official exam begins. The crowd followed the balls with eager eyes, seeing nothing but a few small jade balls. At this point, a person fervently shouted, unable to help but disdain, isn't it just a ball? I'll go get it. However, the jade ball was not easy to catch, just as he was about to achieve his intention, the ball suddenly veered off course, causing him to hit his head on the hard wall, seeing the jade ball flying close to him, determined not to let this opportunity fall into others' hands, the other two also rushed forward with their mouths shouting, I'm coming too. Both aimed at the same jade ball, not like before when they cautiously approached, finally when they pounced, the elusive ball still ran away, inadvertently leading to a strong collision, causing both of them to fall in pain. And the jade ball flew away leaving behind only a glimmer of light, the other person quickly got up, his face scratched and grumbled, too difficult, too fast, basically impossible to catch. Then he quickly regained his composure and said, I'm in pain, but I don't believe I can't continue. However, when he rushed forward again, he hit his head on a tree trunk, and the jade ball ran away once more. The group from the forging room initially stood still, observing the situation. While Zhu Yi Kun was still dazed, Wei Bai Hui suddenly spoke up, Senior Brother Zhou, look over here. Those guys from the alchemy room are actually here to participate in the outside sect exam. Zhu Yi Kun's eyes followed and landed on Yi Sheng and his group, who were casually watching the chaos before them, he suddenly exclaimed, This is not good. Zhu Yi Kun began to reason, something is off. These guys used to be so arrogant and disdainful of the outside sect disciples. Observing Yi Sheng and Ji De Quan carefully, he continued, now they're coming here proactively, carrying large bags. It looks like they're fleeing from something. At this moment, Wei Bai Hui, standing behind Zhu Yi Kun, raised his fist in anger, no matter what, we can't let these guys off easy when enemies meet. He gritted his teeth, his face darkened with rage, and his thoughts were filled with malice toward Yi Sheng, especially that Yi Sheng. He's really annoying. I wish I could break his legs. Ji De Quan, carrying a large bag, loudly instructed, Everyone, follow me. These tokens are not easy to obtain. We still need to collaborate and use the abilities of each other to achieve success. Hearing this, Yi Sheng immediately turned to senior brother and asked, Brother, what should we do? Ji De Quan began to plan, he said to Yi Sheng, Little junior brother, you have speed, so take the main token, we will help you. Hearing this, Yi Sheng immediately understood, he smiled determinately. As soon as Ji De Quan gave the signal to start, the group behind immediately ran back and deployed according to the plan, they held hands and formed a circle, calculating the direction to surround the jade ball. Just then, the jade ball ran into the encirclement, getting trapped in the middle. Of course. The jade ball did not let itself be surrounded, it immediately changed direction to use its speed to escape from the contestants. Ji De Quan caught its intention, quickly shouted to stop it, they all transformed in an instant, making their bodies swell like bubbles blocking the escape route. The jade ball was indeed deceived, and then rammed into the stomach of little junior brother, his body swelled softly and easily blocked the jade ball. When they collided, the jade ball stuck to the trick of the Daoist, immediately causing Ji De Quan to turn his gaze towards Yi Sheng and shout, Little junior brother, the jade ball has entered the formation, it's your turn to act. Hearing the call of his senior brother, Yi Sheng gently smiled and said determinately, All right, then quickly ran towards his teammate's formation. Using true qi to propel himself upwards, 
he immediately jumped into the encirclement, quickly catching the small jade ball. Yixing grinned, showing his white teeth, happily exclaiming, success. The crowd watching this scene all turned towards Yixing and exclaimed loudly, cool, way by hui, seeing what was happening on the other team. Was constantly furious, he cursed, damn, they caught one already, but Zhu Yi Kun remained much calmer, he glanced at Wei Bai Hui and calmly rejected his statement, Junior brother doesn't understand anything. Then Zhu Yi Kun thought about Ji De Quan patiently explaining, This disciple of the alchemy room is the most cunning, he has many smart ideas and doesn't follow the usual rules. In recent years, the guard room has suffered a lot of losses because of him, Zhu Yi Kun added, I don't know how many times they have been harassed by them. The story ends here. See you in the next episode.